Champions League even. For some reason, I've still got, you know, uh, some hope that we can do it. For some reason, I've still got, you know, uh, some hope. Just... I remember the Barca team with Henri Eto, Messi, 100 goals, and then MSN, 100 plus goals. Let's talk about Saka now. Our, our front line. Arsenal fans rein it in a bit. Can reach close to those standards. Look at you now, boy. Let's fucking go, guys. I mean, our defence for that goal we conceded was appalling. I don't know who Kyle Walker thinks he is. Brother, oh. it's on you. Listen. No, 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 he's not playing that noise Aid. on my head top. He's not playing Aid, that noise on my are, head top. Aid is in... <laughs> no, Saeed, you are insane. It was not good enough. We were not good enough. It is what it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Hey. <laughs> Finally, man. Finally. You're not yeah. playing that noise on my head top. You're not no. playing that noise on my head top. You Bro. fucking did. <laughs> Bro. Bro. That noise that he played was so disrespectful. No. I couldn't believe it, bro. The timing was insane. <laughs> How did I do that? I, I, I wanted to bring that it, one man. as well, man. We, 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 knew, we knew what was happening to Liverpool tonight. I, I, I thought Grizz would get in. in Are you, uh, let's sleep in dogs. Uh, <laughs> You're sleeping early, like man. Let us sleep, man. Wow. <laughs> you know what? I'm glad, yeah. I'm glad Huey's full-time content creator. Big up to Huey, by the way. His channel is full-time. I'm glad there's something now for Huey. You know what I'm saying to you? <laughs> You're in the uh, I'm, I'm going yeah, back I'm to part-time, man. What? See, what? that was my first watch along in years. First watch along in years. Nah, they're done. They're done now. I'm not doing watch longs anymore. <laughs> that's, the that's the first. Since you've come on the show, Huey, that's the first major yeah. competition you've exited, right? Because you won the FA Cup, you won the Champions League. I was f last season was my first full season, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, the first, yeah, yeah. My, my, first L, my first L, my first L, my first L. Bro, that's why you gotta take it while you can. You gotta celebrate it, man. You know, you gotta dunk them. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so, see, is, you know what it is, man. I, I have no issue going out to Real Madrid. I have no problem with the Madrid fans yeah. doing that. But you, you of all <laughs> people, I will not take it from you or bottom left. I, see, I saw your video, Heritage, Heritage. Shut up with your heritage, man. Give me that. Why are you saying fuck me for? Because you're, you're just as bad as him. Yeah, fuck me for. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm with you on that. I'm not as bad. My review was in the morning when everyone was having their cornflakes and brushing their teeth. He Is did that his literally at night. Who to hear bullshit in the morning? Bro, I'm just I'm just here to remind you about what happened. Like my thing is with Grizz. Like Grizz was the one that was talking down on Ala Madrid, and now. You know, now look what's happened. Do you know what I mean? It's, he, this is a humbler crumbler. It's a humbler crumbler. Humble crumbler. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you know, it's... you know what? We're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. It's essentially a big six, yeah, yeah. Bre big six Brexit tonight. Everyone's at. Everyone's at. We've got to talk about it. Villa, it. Unai Emery. Yeah, Unai Emery. Yeah, that's why I said big six Brexit because they just. Your about former me. manager. Um, <laughs> <laughs> maybe you might want him in the summer, mate. Said, oh, Maybe I, I will. Mind. He's a good Look manager. Maybe yes, I, will. I don't mind. <laughs> Maybe uh, you might want to resign him. Do Emery in. Oh, I, I, yeah. Do Emery in. Do Emery in. I beg you, do Emery in. Please. Bro, you run might it. want to start Emery in as well. Run it. What's speed. wrong? Run it. You, you might, might want to kick him back. Out, I want you to run Emery in. But, okay, listen. We're going to get into it. Champions League, Europa League. We've got FA Cup to talk about. First and foremost, hit the like button. 3.5k. Yeah. Big up Skull as well. Quality intro as always. Show him some love. Individual channel yeah, in the description as well as ours. Mm -hmm. Road to 50k for some. Road to 100k for others. And as always, big up the sponsor, Opta Games. You already know, people. If you don't know, then I don't know what you've been watching the last few weeks. Get to know Opta Games, sponsoring the big six. Link in the description, link in the live chat. Opta Max in particular, which is the game we focused on last week. It's a rollover, so it's $19,000 up for grabs. Five man of the matches, player of the matches. That's all you got to pick. Bang on. And then you can win up to $19,000. Obviously, if multiple winners, you split it and whatnot. But if... If you're the lucky one, you take it all. We're going to get into it later. We're going to pick our own team. So hit the like button. Like I said, Big Six Brexit. We've got to get into, into all of that. And yeah, I can't lie. Arsenal fans, City fans, Liverpool fans, the hyenas will eat tonight. They will eat. I don't know which hyena wants to go first. Couple smiling at the moment. I, don't wanna, I, don't wanna... I, guess, I guess we can get our like third-rate 
no, no, that's boring, man. No, that's, no, wait, no, that's what no, I mean. No, 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 I think we need a good hour segment no, di- dissecting Klopp's no, last European no, game. No, 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 are, are you are you fucking for no, real? No, are you you no. think you got now, now, I don't know if you know. We done that last week. I don't know if you know YouTube ghosts, but last Europe, man. Listen, guys, let me let me tell you something. Audience. The respect no. it deserves. No, he's a great, he's a no, great manager. Land. No, listen, listen. Audience retention is a thing. Okay, we need to focus mm. on audience retention. Early doors. We will not have any excuses about Liverpool. We're not talking about any Saboz lies, SpongeBob performance. We're not talking about any of that. We're starting with Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal Football Club against True. Bayern Munich. Thomas Tuchel, Harry Kane. That is where we're starting. Because I they think it's a toss up, man. I think it's a toss up between City you, and Arsenal. City you, as well. No, are we talking? Are we really talking two billion why, why spent and one Champions that, League? One Hugh, Champions League. Why is he saying City, that, Hugh? City surely, the holders. Surely we should start with City, who's you know a treble winner. the holders, man. Best team of them in the world, knocked out against all odds at home, favorite. Mm. One foot. Surely I'll let you lot decide. I'll let, you, 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 you know what it is? Use three other hyenas today. So us three, we're going to just. You know them, like, you know them hyenas in Lion King. You know the hyenas in yeah, Lion yeah. King. I said those yeah, three. Yeah, the hyenas. The four, one of... You three. You know what? You know oh. what? You should. You should put them three at the top today, and us three at the bottom. <laughs> you know what? That's a show. Why not? Let's do it. These three yeah, are the hyenas let's, let's today. Let's These three. Let's run it. Let's run it. Come on. Let's run it. Let's run it. Okay. Let's run it. <laughs> let's let's not say no more. Let's let's yeah, not go. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so I'm so glad that this guy so. ended up above me. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Yo, Saeed, tell him to shush, man. Tell him to shush. Yeah, honestly, I'm so glad that Skull, Skull actually clipped Turkish because I watched Turkish's post match um, reaction yesterday, right? Mm. And he was human. He was like, "Oh, sometimes our fans they put the target on our players' back. They hold them up to mad standards." I'm like, hmm. Wait, hang on a second. What you know do you what? know what I was saying last season? You know when I said it, You know when I said it, yeah? You know when I said it about five seconds later in my head, I thought, fucking hell, I'd done the same fucking thing. Probably the <laughs> five seconds later, I thought, shit. <laughs> I, I, fuck it, I'm talking to myself. I'm talking to myself as well in that video. Fuck it. <laughs> Look at the thumbs up next to you. That's actually gas. That's all right, let's, 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 uh, hyenas, can we take a vote, please? All right. So, all in favor of starting with Arsenal, say aye. Because I'd, I'd like to start with Arsenal. But okay, perfect. Well, let's, let's just start with Arsenal. Oh, wow. Thank wow. okay. you. Unanim- okay. Unanimously. 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 Perfect. Um, um, can work away. Right. No, listen, well, man, I can't lie to you, man. It's, 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 it's definitely starting with Arsenal because we, you lot were saying. You know what I mean? The fan base will say because apparently if I if I say some people, you know what I mean. But it's not a listen. No, no, there no. Was you a lot can. Now today, today, talk okay. to who you who you want to talk to, please. Because I'm okay. not the players didn't yeah. fight in that second half. I'm not here to fight. Talk to who you want to talk to. Wow. I'm, I'm wow, taking man. notes. I'm doing the, the predictions man. for this weekend. Do you mind if I just take a minute mm. to myself here? Can, to, do, can I can I can I list an, a, a sheet? And if I miss anyone on the register, I want to yes. call them out like a teacher would. Okay, guys, um, please take your seats, children, students of the Champions League who never won it before, first time in seven years, first time in fourteen years in this position. Revenge on Bayern Munich, Harry Kane, Thomas Tuchel, Eric Dyer failed. Please take your seats. I want to check everybody's in in class today. Um, Bavs, are you in? Are you in class? Yes. Perfect. Uh, Guna Lee, are you in class? Perfect. Brilliant. Uh, Igal, Even if you don't drag him. Igal, Igal, are you in class? Uh, yeah, perfect. Brilliant. Uh, Joel, Joel, Joel Bayer, are you in class? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, brilliant. Uh, Robbie Lyle, are you in class? Uh, take a seat. Brilliant. Cecil, are you in class? Brilliant. Take a seat over there next to Robbie. Um, who else? Saeed, is there anybody else that we need to document on this list? Anybody? Um, Yeah, that's about it, you know, man. I think everyone, yeah. That's a, the shameless, those are the shameless ones, isn't it? Those are the shameless ones, by the way. Yes. You mentioned Igal. You mentioned yeah, yeah. Igal. Yeah, he's he's just sitting. He's just sitting over there. Yeah, he's just sitting over there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. There's more. There's got to be more. Deluded. Oh, Deluded, Deluna, yes. Possibly. Deluna, yeah, please, over there. Yeah. Curtis Shaw, yeah. did you mention Curtis Shaw, Mr. Arteta oh, out there? He, oh, he's, he's not big on Arteta. Nah, he cooked guys. himself. He cooked himself. Yeah, yeah, he cooked himself, to be fair. He cooked himself. He jumped in the pot. He jumped in the have we mentioned, have we mentioned um, obviously, he's probably he's probably going to tell us that he told us, but have we mentioned the right army leader himself, Lee Gunner? <laughs> yeah, listen, it, it, to be fair, he was... <laughs> I, I don't think Lee there. said he this was like, year. 
I don't like, think he said no. this year we're winning the league. I don't think he said that. Yeah. No, 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 no. But he must be cooked by association. He's Arsenal. He must be cooked. Um, he must. It's a, it's a certain must Ars- be cooked. Arsenal are scary. Arsenal fans be excited. Titles. Yeah. Yeah, you know who you are. You see it over there as well. <laughs> Go see it over there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you Anyone go. Else? You know Anyone else? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to think. Oh god, the, the noise is all. When they when they do buy me, yeah, Gunnar Lee's in. He's in. Yeah, we said Gunnar Lee. Gunnar Lee lives. 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 Has to take a lives. 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 Of course. Of course. Oh yes. Yes. Matthias, let me even pull up his tweet. Let me even pull up his tweet. So you know, you know when the draw was released, because you know I like to keep these things booked. When the draw was released, yeah. Lives <laughs> sent out this message. Let me even. He said, So Thomas Muller did that video where he's like, Oh, yes, we've, we've drawn Arsenal, my old foe, all of this. Bit. And he says, You're the first guy we coming for. And he didn't even spell your properly. He used the <laughs> U O Y O U R. You're meant to use Y O U apostrophe R E. He said, You're the first guy we're coming for. <laughs> yeah? You sure? You sure that's the first guy you're coming for? Yeah? Pause. That, um, yeah, the Champions League video. <laughs> Remember that video? Yeah, yeah, that one. He's oh, like, <laughs> man was crying. Man was crying. Outside. Man was crying because he heard Champions League music. Get a grip, bro. Get Act a like grip. You've been there before. Act like you've been there. Jeez, the Yo, but they haven't been there. Um, they haven't. That's the thing. That's there's, the there's a lot of um. Is there anyone on Fraud Watch, by the way? Is anyone on Fraud Watch in the Arsenal team that we have to talk about and mention? We've got to discuss the know. match. We must, you know. I mean, you, first of all, you've got to start with that front three, right? Yes. Ineffective. Mazawari, yes. in, out of position, by the way, locked up Saka. Mm. Like, you read the mm. stats on your review. It was zero, 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 mm. zero, zero, right? Just zero, naught, zero, naught, zero. Naught, naught, naught. We were going into the decimal it's points. be a programmer. Yeah, it was wild. It was crazy. We, Ma- Saeed was doing coding. Do you know what I mean? Martinelli, yeah. we call him Martin Kelly. That's what we call him on Discord. Me, we have a little call. That's we don't call him Martinelli anymore. We call him Martin Kelly. Yeah, just to keep things simple. He ain't Brazilian. He ain't Brazilian. Yeah, he's he ain't not Brazilian, Brazilian, man. He's English. He's no. now from Stevenage. Do you know what I'm saying? That's his name now. And mm. and I just want to just add the creme de la creme bonus cherry on the cake. Kai Kingdom. Oh, Averts. Even Turkish cooked him for me on AFTV. It was a beautiful thing. A tears fell out of my eye listening to that video because Arsenal fans, they, 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 as soon as he got his ninth goal of the season, they just couldn't wait to just scream his name from the heavens, from the rooftops. They wanted to just tell every Chelsea fan, thanks for Kai Havertz. We should have paid you more. But crunch time came. Oh, I can't believe that. Against Bayern Munich and Arteta saying he needs a different striker who can score goals. Excuse me. The audacity. Is he, is he not your striker? Is he not playing up front? Huh? Now you need goals. What? What? Looting away wasn't enough. Well, you want more? No, no, no. We don't do that around here. Yeah? You're asking for far too much now. You want goals? <laughs> In the Champions League? Against Eric Dyer and DeLitt? <laughs> no, we don't do that around here. No, 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 no. That's not for you. No, no, no. You didn't pay 65 million and 300k a week for goals in the Champions League. You paid it for January, February, purple patch. Hold that. And let me tell you something. This player, if you are to go anywhere, guess where he'll be sitting next season? On the bench. Because when you put him back into midfield, it's not enough. It's not enough. And you know it's not enough. Because you know you don't want to see that on a week-to-week. So he'll be on the bench, and that will be the end of that conversation. But listen, it was, it was a mad performance, man. Like The thing is with Arsenal that I was so surprised with in this game is that they actually never looked like they wanted to go for Bayern's throats. Like There was no... Turkish put it perfectly. They didn't throw the kitchen sink. Like, there was no wave of pressure. There, it, it's almost like they were playing a, a league game and they were like, oh, we'll just do it next week. But this was a knockout game. You needed to do something. There was never any this... There, there was never a moment where you looked at Arsenal and you thought, yeah, they're going to really go for it now. The subs were weird as well. Mm. I don't know why he he took off Jorginho and didn't even bring in party or, or, or try and get control of the midfield. But for me personally, I know we, we talk about Nketiah and Smith-Rowe and all these guys, Nelson, they're all not good enough. We know this. The bench is not is not levels. But the starters did not... Them, they didn't do themselves justice, man. They didn't do themselves justice. They did not knock on the door. I think City, I will talk about them later, they didn't go out in the same way. They went out the competitions completely differently. Um, I think Arsenal will leave because effectively what they've done is in England. They've, they've played 
you know, Lens and Lons and and, and Porto and, and whoever else they had in the group stage, when they came up against a serious opposition with an actual, you know, Thomas Tuchel and, and Harry Kane and some individuals, they, they folded. So they haven't been good enough all knockouts, man. We didn't see the Arsenal that we've been seeing in the league and um, the, the team that built up all that cred, and rightly so. We didn't see that Arsenal in the Champions League. So it's a humble crumbler, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Toby, do you want to take the baton? Do you want to... You got something? It ain't what it is, brother. It yeah. ain't what it is, bro. When we talk mm-hmm. on fraud, we got to talk on that. £65 million pound Shamala, Sh- Shamala Mala ding, ding Dong, whatever it is that they call him. <laughs> that stupid ass sunk. £60 million down the drain. You're damn right. It's £60 million down the drain because he's cheeks. Don't care how many goals he scores. He's cheeks. He's not good. And then, listen, I, I hate it had to be him. In fact, I don't hate it. I love it. Because I actually used to think this guy was good, but I thought, okay, you know what? You can't be this bad at finishing. Like, you're going to kick it up a gear eventually. Gabriel Jesus. Jeez Louise. He's got the composure of a flipping ball in the China shop when it comes to scoring. It's absolutely terrible. All the jinky, 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 samba, samba, jink. For what? For what? (laughs) When your team needs you, where are you? Where are you? And then you've got Lego head as well going out in the press saying, oh, we just don't have a 30 to 40 goal season striker and we just have to deal with, with, deal with the facts. Brother, you spent 65 million on Shy Havertz. You spent 35 million on T-Bag or whatever his name is, um, Fabio Vieira, right? <laughs> you spent, you, that, that's a hundred million pound right there. That's a hundred million pound right there. That's ISAC money right there, brother. So and you're, you're going to the press complaining about 30 to 40 goal season striker. I thought that was what Kingdom Kyle was meant to offer. Where's Babs who was telling me he's a big game player? Why did he <laughs> rise in the first leg? Why did he rise in the second leg? Got his, uh, Babs got his comments huh? off. It's, you, can't, you can't comment on the Babs' post right now. So Babs is, um, yeah, he's not, he's, not, he's not right in a minute. So big up to Babs. Hope you're well, mate. And oh, uh, yeah, big up to you. Yeah. Man, I I but go know. on. I what on Twitter? I can comment. On Twitter, I yeah, know. I can comment. Yeah. He's public. He's public now. Mm. Yeah, is he always oh, public right. now? So yeah, he wasn't public now. last night. Then oh, it's, so he's public now. Okay, okay, that means oh, he's, he's yeah. out of the show now. But go ahead. Oh, go oh, ahead. They, oh so what, what are you saying? So they, so they pammed him. They pammed Bav so hard he had to go on private. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. is that what I'm yeah. hearing? It's <laughs> to give it though. He's put to give it though. Four hundred you know, and sixty-six yeah. comments would do that to you. To be fair, that's a lot of comments. <laughs> yeah. Post. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. And what then let's, the let's talk what about was the post. Um, Matisse, what was the post? I think it was targeted at United fans. So they, they did retaliate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what was my comment? What was my comment that, that's finished uh, him? I think it, it might have just finished him, but then I think, yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and can we, can we not forget about um, you know, made in Chelsea, made in Cobham, um, Jorginho. Um because his form has gone off the ball recently, but Arsenal fans were so quick to tell us how he's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. And then the last one as well, right? I'm not even one of these people who jumps, jumps, jumps and starts slamming Saka and stuff, right? But if this was any other player that dropped the performance that he dropped, no matter how well they played this season, they're going to get pelters. So he deserves to get pelters for that performance yesterday. He's a top player. He's a top player. And when you are a top player, there are certain expectations of you in crunch situations. You have to rise. You must rise. And he didn't rise. He did not rise. And I think with Bukayo Saka, even if he did put in a top performance yesterday, right, a lot of the people are, are talking about, oh, he's that's, this is why he's not world-class. This is why he's not world-class. No, that's not really why he's world-class. That's an example maybe, but that's not why he's world-class. He's not world-class because he's just not world-class yet. And that's okay. That is honestly okay. It's not to say that he won't be world-class in a year in a year and a half time, two years time. He's on that trajectory. But the problem is sometimes fans are too quick to crown players, right? He, I and I repeat, is a top player. He is on the trajectory to be a world-class player. But right now it is clear, even when he's in his pump, in his in his element, he's not a world class player because there's just that little bit missing mm. right now. There is mm. that is honestly okay. 
Declan Rice, I don't think he had a good game yesterday. I thought first half, he he, he grew into it. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think with Saka, it's just because you don't, you lot saw my fan cam. I was critical. So I'm coming from a place where I agree mm. with you on that. Yeah. But I don't think it's, and that's okay. I think it's, that's expected because it's his first season in the Champions League at this level. Yeah. So yeah. as much as even I said, listen, I want this game to be the game where he steps up because I've seen Foden step it up recently. And like I said, I'm not one to keep on comparing them or want to compare them, but the noise is always around those two. So, you know, if I'm seeing, you know, Foden do it there, I want Saka to do it here. And yeah. Toby's right. He didn't rise. But at the same time, I'm not going to be over. The, the more I look at it and the more I see, Saka's a humble guy. Saka doesn't put himself out there like, I'm world class. Yeah, like, That's... judge me, judge me like I'm Vinny or judge me like I'm, you know, the best winger in the league. It's the fans that create this noise, hence yes. why these are the often the reactions off the back of it. And then the same fans that create the noise will be like, oh, lay off him, lay off him, like mental health and stuff like this. So th that's why, I, you know, as much as, listen, I've got carried away at times, people do need to rein it in because I, I said we need superstar talent in this side now. I think that's the last piece. In attack, we need a superstar talent. In midfield, we need someone, someone, someone better than what we have in that eight position at the moment. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, go on. Yeah, go on, Toby. Finish off. Um, what else? What else do I need to add? Hmm, what else do I need to add? Ben why I just thought, I just hmm. thought it was I just thought they ran out of ideas, which is like if you're an Arsenal fan, you know what I mean? It's like there was no like could you guys see Arsenal scoring? No, no, like, no. Did you get it? Like, you no. know, you get a feeling oh. of a game. Mm. And, you, and you think, and, and and we've heard about how good they're on set pieces this season and how how many people behind the scene have been getting the credit or oh, we're the masters at set pieces and we work. I, and then it ends with the way Saka took that corner. Like, which set piece routine was that? <laughs> like, which one, of the, yeah. which one of the scientists behind the scene worked that routine out? I, it was, I think it was just a head loss in the end. It was just mm. literally the same patterns of play. Get the ball out to Saka. Or Martinelli head down running. Brian were just smart. Brian, I just thought Brian played a fantastic game. I think there has to be some credit given to your boy. Um, there will be. Oh, there will uh, be. Uh, uh, Matisse's boy, uh, tactical, tactical Tommy, put on a pretty much a masterpiece, man. I'd say, and mm. you can see, even though we we've okay, even though I've bigged up Arteta quite a bit, you can still see levels. Tactical Tommy has done it in this competition especially this competition he is a good, he's not a good man manager because he loses dressing rooms and players and everything but tactically you can see the guy is spot on i think Indeed. he won the he won the first half against arteta in the first leg and he won the second half against arteta in the second leg mm -hmm. we didn't do enough in the game in, in the halves we won I, we 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 should have been up at half time you know it's the same story similar to villa you know that's why arteta's mentioned the 30 40 goal thing he's not wrong but obviously, I understand the reaction to it because it's coming at a time when it's you know shits going pear shaped and you know it's it's deemed mm. an excuse. We all know we need a striker, and I, and Havertz wasn't he he brought Havertz in as a midfielder. That's his own words. The week we've signed him, he said midfield. He's just had to work Havertz up top because I think even he's admit admitted to himself that it's not worked in midfield. So the need is still out there for a striker. I said all of our strikers are impact players, all of them. Mm. Trossard, Eddie, Jesus, Havertz, all of them are better off the bench or at another club. So we need mm. a striker. Uh, I'm happy to hear it on one hand because it had to be done. It, you know, like we've needed a striker for a long time. Now, people might couple up fees we've spent on, you know, Jesus and Havertz. But I think when we signed Jesus, and this is me trying to be fair here, when we signed Jesus, we was a team that just bottled top four in the last few weeks, a team that hadn't made top four in years. So I don't think that the, the quality of player we could have got then is the same as the quality of player we can get now. So it's not just in hindsight, oh, we could have got this person for this price then. We were still working our way up the table in terms of, you know, reputation and, and are we actually about it? Now it's a different story. So he just needs to, this is a big summer. It's a big summer. Listen, I haven't given up on the league either because how can you? Two points behind. But I don't think we will win. I think Man City will win it. I said whoever drops points first, the other will win it. I think Man City will. But 
if if we go four points clear because we got two games in well not games in hand two games coming up before City play next that might put a bit of pressure on if they drop points in one game that might give us incentive but every time we've had incentive this is my issue and this is why I think we need that superstar ruthless type of talent you know you get them man that are just ruthless on the pitch like they mm. don't give a fuck about any noise they don't care about who's saying what about them in the headlines they're coming on that pitch to to, to boss it whatever mm. position it is when we have the you know when we're, when we're lead like we went top for one week we fucked it you know in the it, it, it just feels like anytime it, it feels like we're about to do something and then the pressure comes on us we don't we don't handle it well now i'm not mm. going to say it's an excuse but we still have a young team but we've spent money and the money we spent last summer wasn't spent properly in my opinion Rice quality transfer. Quali- I'll do that ten times. That rice transfer. People are trying to give him stick. Quality transfer. Havertz and Raya. No, Havertz and Raya. No, and that's that. That's in my opinion. That's what it's come down to. You know, I, I'm not gonna get. People know how I feel about Havertz, and when Matisse is talking about him and Tobes, you, you're not talking to me about him because I don't. Well, I don't, I don't have high expectations. You get. It? I don't have high expectations. But yeah, mm. where was we? Sorry. I don't know. Say TV, say television. You know what's mad, yeah? I don't know. In the summer, I made a video, uh, Turkish. Um, I think it was on the 3rd of August. And uh, I basically said, Arsenal fans need to concentrate on Arteta last four years, looking real spooky. Mm-hmm. And uh, Turkish, do you, know, do, you know, do you remember what you commented on there? <laughs> what was remember it? what you commented? You said... You effed up here. I'll tell you that. Skulk Foggery, come save this for future reference. Mm-hmm. And um, it can still be referenced. End of the it, season now. It can still be referenced in the future, you know. <laughs> listen, listen. It could be, but there was know, a whole video. There, there, there be, wasn't a date. It'll be five years now. <laughs> it, no, oh. but, but for me, though, I'll use it when I ever want to use it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> use it now, but I'm not going to use it. And, and, um, <laughs> no, but the thing is, though, you know, you've got a date as well. Remember, you got 2025. You said you're gonna you're gonna get a major. Did you say major? Yeah, yeah, yeah major, major. Not care about big, that, big words. Major, big, big words. Major. major. But you know what I'm saying? Like, when are we gonna talk about? Like Arteta winning stuff now. It's been four years now with no trophy because it feels like it's bigger fish to fry every year. And like, you know, this season we, in our worst season, could still go out with the FA Cup. Chelsea, in their worst season, could go out with the FA Cup. Like, there's possibilities for us. Whereas with Arsenal, it just feels like it's just a, a bottle mentality. And I feel like I've used that phrase a lot in this big six. I'm like, our Arsenal are spicy Tottenham, you know, because <laughs> spicy <laughs> Tottenham. Because <laughs> yeah. that was no need for that. Just cook them. I don't talk. Like, can I land? <laughs> Oi, about. I like that spicy Spurs. No, but let me see. No, it is here. There was a stat here yeah, about you yeah. know um, Arteta and just in general Arsenal stuttering. And then I was reading into it. I was like, let me just gather some momentum. And David Ornstein said, you know what? They've had this problem under Emery. And they've had it under Wenger towards the end of his kind of reign. I mean, he won a few FA Cups here and there. But he felt like, yo, Arsenal have got struggles in April. So I was like, people talk about the history of Tottenham. But could we have conversations about the history of Arsenal? Because it feels like towards the end, you man, fold. You know, I mean, you got to leave with something. You know, you got to leave with a. On my video, I said a Carabao Cup. Did you did, cup. did you so, see the tweets? But this is this is the thing, Turkish. There's one thing I did majorly disagree with you, and that is your disrespect to the Carabobins Cup, because I think you have to walk before you can run, and you guys are trying to run, and you don't have the stabilizers. So what's happening is you keep tripping, and it's it's one of those things that yeah. we don't like to see. And now we've got to put the safety gates up because now this week you tripped down the stairs and bumped your head. Do you know what I'm saying? And we don't want this, bro, because it's 32 years with no Carabao. It's 20 years with no Premier League. There's no Champions League. There's no Europa League. There's no Club World Cup. Now Salzburg will be in it because you guys couldn't qualify for that after the defeat. Um, And there's no Super Cup. So it's just FA Cups. And don't get me wrong. The FA Cup's great. 
But now yeah. it's like it's time to just respect everything, bro. It's time to respect all competitions. Everything must be respected for Arsenal. You are not mm. at that point where you can start. You're not Man City where you could just start shelving cups. And no, you got to win whatever you can get because this young group mm. they 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 got to get a taste for it. This young group have not won anything. When people talk about Arteta's trophy and and full credit to him for getting it right, but that was with Emery's older group that he he just moved all of them on. You moved on Aubameyang, you moved on Pepe, you moved on Xhaka, you moved on all of these guys. So this young group have won absolutely nothing and they need to win something. Even if it is a Carabao Cup, it's better than nothing because this season is looking like nothing. I'm I'd not rather win this. something than nothing, for I'm sure. Not about I, I, I can't do this Carabao Cup debate. <laughs> if I'm honest with you. I don't give you a must. fuck. You must. You must. You no, you it, can't because you're better. You, you've seen better. Oh, but the players haven't. It. Your team I needs it. Your team I, needs it. I don't, I, I'm not putting on not giving a shit about it. So I can't put on giving a shit about it. I just don't give a shit about it. Like, I've never had. Oh, but the players up, need I never to. have. So what would you, what, what do you want me to do? I know you don't, but the team need it, bro. You might be right, but then the teams have won it. And then the next season is going on to. But difference. you guys are actually United. stable up there. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. You're, you're not playing United, and, and, and if we do it, no. like, we're just like, you guys are actually up there. So if you win it, it's definitely an indicator of more to come. I think it should be anyway. You're not yo yoing. Like, you, you back to back yeah. title races, you're, you're up yeah. there. It can be, but, but listen, we came to a stage now where Arteta won the FA Cup, and then we've spent. What, what is it? Five hundred ninety-seven million pounds since 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 that. Let's say, yeah. Mm. So it, it, that FA Cup was our fourth FA Cup in in ten years or around eight years, I think. Fourth FA mm. Cup in eight years. So me sided, I sided the Carabao Cup of growing up because Wenger, Ferguson, all the managers, the top managers, top clubs sided it off. It was a youth competition for them. So for mm. me, it's like we we won the FA Cup, fourth one in ten years or fourth one in eight years, whatever it was. The, it, we spend five hundred mil. It's time to start talking about not only FA Cup again because that for me is a major, Premier mm. League and Champions League. So this season was our first season of expectation. Let's not mm. forget that this season was the first season everyone said Arsenal have to challenge at the very least. You know, try and win something. First season, we did, you know we 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 didn't do it, but. <laughs> If we won Carabao Cup, I'd still be sitting here saying the same shit I'm saying. I'd still, that interview still would have been the same yesterday. The Carabao Cup doesn't change that. The Carabao Cup is just a competition someone wins in February. Some of the teams, some of the teams winners have had to play in their run. Oh, it's like a pre-season cup at times. It doesn't always guarantee that it's a platform for further success, especially when we're talking about Premier League against Man City and Champions League against Europe's elite. But that it's bottling, terrible. that bottling nature that Saeed's alluding to, do you not think that a Carabao Cup or some sort of competition win, when they go to the dressing room and they throw the champagne and they're lifting the trophy at Wembley, like you're you're kind of packaging it into what it is on the tin, which is a Carabao Cup, but it it the whole day and just winning at Wembley and lifting something and getting over that hurdle for this group, that 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 might help them in these moments against Bayern or in mm. the moments in the crunch games towards the end of the season. Like, that might be in their it back might. pocket. It might, but that this is not the answer, though. Like We're mm. not looking at Arsenal's potential end to the season now and coming up and saying, oh, you should have won. But I think your end to the season is magnified because you didn't win anything at this point. If you, I think, I think, if, I think honestly, if you, I think if you bag the trophy this season already, I think the Champions League, we could step back and say, do you know what? But I mean, are a very good team. I know people are overdoing the Leverkusen thing. They're not giving Leverkusen enough credit. They're literally unbeaten. So there should mm. be a gap at the top, in my opinion. Like, if your team is unbeaten, like, <laughs> do you want Bayern to be unbeaten too? Like, come on. So they haven't been great, but they're still not to be disrespected. But if you guys had actually won something, I think everyone would say, do you know what? Bayern Munich, Champions League, last eight. That's progress because we haven't been here in seven years. And then we go again into the into the Premier League. And I think people would at least be able to take something yeah, people, from the look, season. People are mentioning the Carabao, I mean, the community. Nah, that's shield. mad. Why did they, why they mention it that, though? Come because, on, man. Because the, because the argument could be the same. You know, no, 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 no. If you win the, no, no, you win no, no, the community No, that's not a credible the trophy. The that's not a credible no, 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 trophy. No, but they, we're not. The argument is not, is it a credible trophy? We're not arguing that because it's not credible. It, the Carabao Cup is not credible. We're arguing, but can it be the trophy. platform? That it is. It, it's actually a trophy. It's a trophy. 
it's it's a it's a reborn trophy in this in this league that we don't need. We talk about players playing too many games and that. What other country has two cups? Tell me, what other country has two domestic cups? FA Cup is the biggest domestic competition in world football. Why do we need the League Cup? Mm. Uh, who who recognizes the League Cup? I I, I take on your point. I take I take on Turkish's no point in, in isolation. In isolation, the Carabao Cup is it's it's not the most desirable. It's not, and I think for teams like Chelsea, and Manchester United, maybe who. You know they they, they are gonna win in the special these, oh, these no, times. No, no, hold on a minute. You use that. Hang, cup let me, let me land. Let me land. No, hold let, me land no, but, let me let me correct you. You use that <laughs> cup here yeah, as a measuring tool to go and go and now. Pep Guardiola was like Carabao Cup siege mentality. You want to go and win the domestic finish, you're, you're finishing my, you point. You're my <laughs> point. You're finishing my point, bro. He's shouting at you, bro. You're finishing my point. All right, my bad. It was mad my to say teams right. like Chelsea, Man United, though. Yeah. Like, we, we, like Chelsea, we, Man United. We, 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 got here, we got here first, bro. Like, let's not, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, like, you, I, hate it when, man. I hate it when they do that. Oh, yeah. Man City, I hate it when you do that. Oh, God, you piss me off when you do that. Teams like yeah, Chelsea, man. Man United. Like, you guys didn't just you rock up. Like like the new boys, like bro, Chelsea, bro. Man United, who are not going to catapult <laughs> from winning the Carabao Cup. It just kind of saves their season and semi-glamorizes it. But in Turkish's position, Arsenal, which are not, as you said, a yo-yo team, they are title-challenging, and they're trying to get their first title in this new era of Arsenal Football Club, I think the Carabao Cup is something that's desirable. In our Centurion season, we won, which was Pep's first league trophy, we won the Carabao Cup in February. And undoubtedly, we catapulted from that. The players have spoken depth about how that first trophy, that first trophy, that first medal, that first Wembley, yada, 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 helped us catapult. It's, I mean, come the end of the season, you don't look at the Carabao and go, this was the best thing we won all season. It's a nice little supplement to your Premier League. But in terms of a team like mm. Arsenal, Liverpool or Man City, who are title challengers consistently now, it can catapult. Is that okay with you, Saeed? <laughs> no, no, no. I, bro, I just didn't like your start. You landed it well, but I didn't like your start. That was right, like, man. Teams like, you, for teams like you, My it's bad. not going to help you. You win the Carabao Cup, you're not winning the Premier League. Sorry. That's what I'm that's saying. It's different. That's what, no, but I'm saying it's different for Arsenal. That's why I believe it's just, it, like you I said, it's just a statement. You know, and, and I feel like for me, listen, it might be Turkish. It might be the mentality, you know what? I want to be bigger trophies. But for the team, if they win that round, let's go win the FA Cup now. Let's go win this. You know what I mean? You just have that that, that feeling, man, that winning mentality. But it's what it is. Bigger, the bigger fish maybe then, isn't it? We'll, we'll, we'll wait for that one next next summer. you got till 2025, May 2025. Because so you've got a year left now, Turkish, to win the FA Cup, Premier League or Champions League. Okay? Yeah, I, think, I think it was actually just the Champions League and the Premier League. It wasn't the FA Cup. He no, said, I, I, there you I, go. Sided, I sided off Carabao. I said FA Cup ain't Champions League or Premier League, but it's a major, but you know, it's not the Premier League or Champions League. Mm, you know, Turkey said, League okay, League. no problem. You know, you know, I don't you believe said, that you know, was the contract. Him. You know, say yeah. you just reminded I don't, him. I don't I honestly, believe that was, bro. I honestly think we'll win certain event. Like he said, Premier League or Champions League. League. That was the contract. I haven't even given up on, yeah. I haven't even given up on this season yet, even though I think City will win it. That's why I don't want to say next season, I think we'll win it because there's still this season to play. But honestly, when prediction time comes in August, I'm telling you lot now, I'm predicting Arsenal win the league. Oh, I'm sure you should. I'm sure you should, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, how many? Two tight races. Two tight races. Two tight races. Two. 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 I know this. Be their third one, you know, for the next season. And if he doesn't, then um, Lego Head will have to pack his back. Let me ask you a question, though. Turkish. If he doesn't go next season and, and do it and doesn't win a trophy next season, would you say that's the time for Arthur to, to go next season, after next season? End of, yeah, I mean, end of next season, if we don't have one of these majors, yeah. yeah. Okay, fair. That's fair, that's fair you know. That's, fair. that's very fair. I think that's, that's 100% that's fair. Fair, fair, man. Yeah. yeah, that's very fair. You go, if, look, if you're going to say that they're consistently league challengers now, yeah, like Huey said, yeah, even though it's their second season out of what, four, whatever, and no problem, if he can do it again third season, that's 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 a good standard he's brought them to. But then there always comes a ten like a, a, a tenure in every coach's moment and time where you think, right, you need the man who's gonna take you to the next level. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Do you get it? So yeah, he's gonna sustain if he sustains it next season, he's gotta get over the line. Otherwise, the board will have to think about someone who's gonna get them over that line. Like he's done a great job, but that's his level now. It's a big transfer window for us because mm. I expect yeah. another 200 M's to be spent minimum. Really, I could, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a bit more because if you look at Ramsdale, Eddie, Smithrow, Partey, um, Vieira, 
Um, there's a couple more that I'm forgetting to be honest. Oh, Nene's contract will be up. There's, there's a, at least five, six players leaving this summer. So I expect this to mm. this summer to spend 200 M's minimum. Sort what we need to sort out. Get this gunman in, whoever it's going to be. Wow, another 200. And next yeah. season, I expect to win it. Like, that's that's yeah. just it. Like, I expect, I don't think no. we're far off it. Yeah. And I expect now that. Man, you go get Musiala, bloody hell. It's crazy. That's, yeah, that's, that's peak. That's peak. Yeah. But, I, but, is, but you know what it is, Saeed, yeah? You know what it is? Yeah. I think now, listen, we're not Man City, but I'm, if Man City are going for Musiala and we need a, we need a player like that, cry. Why not? Or go for work. So, or, or, or try something where it's like, yep. oh shit, they got that, they got him, but they got him. Really Bro, you can't, yeah, Man yeah. City can't That's sign it. everyone. Man City can only sign a certain amount of people, and there's enough people on this planet that can ball out for there to be no excuses. Arsenal got the money, the Emirates is already built now, the stadium's there, right? There's I no think excuses. they should be in for Musiala. I genuinely yeah, they think, should. They should. I think, and I think they can be in for Musiala. For I sure, think, I don't. I don't think they should look look at themselves. Oh, Man City are going for him. Yeah, I think. I think Musiala would be someone who would. So consider. Rice, Musiala, and Odegaard. Shout, Odegaard. shout Odegaard. Eunice, shout Eunice. He was. Yeah, yeah. He tweeted Chelsea, uh, Musiala. Yeah, I love it. And I said, no chance, brother. Yeah, no Please. chance. Yeah, you well, know, like, listen, put, put, put a mic down. <laughs> that you know, man, yeah. he left for a reason. Man. All, he left for a reason. Man. Yeah, yeah. Let's you let's all saying? do that. Let's all do that. Let's all do that. Like, put, put sorry, the how there, many man. times have you been rejected in the transfer market? Don't, no, don't, I'm don't, not talking about me in it. Don't take the piss. I'm not talking about me in it. Yeah, yeah. Just please, Chelsea, Chelsea, don't take the piss. Yeah, don't Chelsea no more. Chelsea no more. Don't take the piss now. Don't take Chelsea. Don't talk anymore about chances and big chances. But look, but Arsenal. But Arsenal, hundred percent. I think Arsenal are on the up. Musiala, young player, would like to see him link up with Saka. You know, Martinelli, all the other guard, the the football. It should they should try to sell him a project. And I, I don't know, obviously, if he will come or. But, you know. but even if they don't get him, that's like they can still go for verse. Yeah, like that level. just make sure you you know you got. Man City ain't gonna get something. Musiala, Paqueta, and. Um, Exactly, uh, Bruno Gamarish, for Big example. Said, yeah. Exactly, Big exactly. Said he can, they can. No, he said no. they can. He, he said, he he said, he said, he said a lot of enough. things in it. No, but look at Hughes. Oh, he's, look at look at his, look at him, man. He's there. If they sell De Bruyne, I'm been out of over. Why can't they? <laughs> They're Why not gonna they? get all three, four like Musiala, Paqueta, Kudos. How many how many ballers are there in the world? They're not. Hughes, Matisse is right. They will sign big boys. Man City got P. They will sign big players. But Matisse, what Matisse's point was. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Sorry, fish is the topic of the day. There's Even though I'm having chicken fish. nuggets. These ain't fish nuggets. These are chicken nuggets. <laughs> but, but, but there's plenty of fish in the sea for Arsenal mm. to go for that quality. Mm. For yeah, sure. for real. For sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. that's, that's yeah. That's how I see it. I'm, I haven't given up on this season. But all the, all, all, all the questions you man have asked about certain players, uh, I, I don't I don't disagree. I think you know Martinelli, who's who was my favorite. Let me not say was like that, but last season he was my favorite player. Like he's someone I expected a level up from, someone I expected close to twenty mm -hmm. goals, if not twenty goals, in the league. He's you know, cheap. Saka was on, Saka was on course for that not too long ago. He's let himself down recently. Martinelli's been poor all season. So you know, the attack in general, as much as we scored the most goals, I'm glad Arteta said we need that striker because sometimes when I say it. I'll have Arsenal fans say, but we scored the most goals. Look at this guy chatting shit. Well, our manager said it now. So thank fucking God for that. You know, now you fans that, you know, hang off nuts, you know, <laughs> left, right and centre, you can say it too because it's it's it's, it's evident. It's evident. Mm. So I'm glad he knows what it is. I'm also glad after the game against Villa, he said, if it crumbles from here, we're not strong enough. We don't deserve anything. 100% facts. He ain't, you know, he ain't wrapping anything in cotton wool there. Has there been some things I don't like him mentioning? Yes. But at the mm. same time, all in all, big summer ahead, massive season ahead. But there's still it's mm. still all to play for now. Hundred mm. percent. Bro, big end. Yeah. You know what's bad, yeah. It's some tough games there, man. If you went outside as well, like where you just crumble, like and I mean proper crumble, where you lose to Chelsea and you lose in the Tottenham. Derby, it's going to be a painful end to the season, you know. Like, really, there's some big fixtures in there, you know. Like, really big yeah. fixtures, man. United yeah. as well. Listen, I don't know what United are going to turn up, but you lose to United, and then boom, like, it's it's mad. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. Let me look at the super chats that have come in on Arsenal anyway, because we are 45 in 7.8k here. Hit the like button if you haven't 
hit it already. Actually, before we do super chats, um, I forgot who mentioned it, but big up the member that mentioned it. Um, I forgot to say at the start of the show that um listen i'm sure most of you know um a guy that was much bigger than this show one of the one of the first pioneers in the kind of this content creating football youtube clipping scene um angry rant man passed away um recently um i don't know the ins and outs and the full details about it but i i do know he's a genuine guy like he, he watched the show randomly followed me one day messaged me about it and um you know that that was my only communication with him but for someone to reach out like that especially someone who was you know well well known well loved big following you know to reach out to to a little up and coming show um it showed kind of you know his heart was in the right place and it's sad that it's sad that he's gone because yeah i actually i actually enjoyed his content too so um rest in peace angry rant man i'm not sure anyone here knew in person well you know yeah i had him i had him on my channel once uh, and i didn't i didn't speak with him often but i had him on my channel once and he just took over the whole show man it was a good live show and all you can eat chelsea episode of course and this guy just took over the whole show bro we just sat there in awe bro just listening to him um basically berate our team because we were in shocking form but do you know what it is about him? Yeah, is that obviously everybody knows him for the rants, and he does obviously um, review films and and games as well. But he's so he's such a nice guy. He's such a nice guy, and um, he always he always said to people, make sure you live life to the fullest. And I think that's because he was battling his condition from from birth, and then went for surgery, and, and there were complications this time, which was he's been in hospital for over what I think around about a month. He was kind of updating on community tab his family and whatnot um and things escalated very quickly and he's only 27 my age very young so yeah man he he's an og man he's been been around for a long time and i feel sorry for obviously his family and his friends but also his his community because they would have been watching him every day and um and now you know now it's 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 no more so yeah man a lot of love to him a lot of love to to his supporters and his his family and friends because he was unreal, man. He's got so many slogans, man. So many, like, the passion, Seriously, the desire, man. you know. No. Honestly speaking, bro, he has so many slogans that just stick in, in your mind. Like, you don't forget these 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 phrases and these lines. So, yeah, what a guy, man. Legend. Absolute no, legend of the absolute scene. Absolute shout out, man. Life is just so precious, man. Um, I came to this fan media content game late, as you guys know. And even man like me, used to know like his stuff i remember watching his stuff i was like who's this guy man he's so funny he's mad uh crazy shock man because i obviously i don't follow chelsea so i don't follow his content per se mm -hmm. but when i found out it was him like it was such a shock to the system man that is a that is no age man so echo everything what turkish and matisse have said man yeah rest yeah. in peace for the time as well um yeah where, where are we 48 minutes in still 7.8k here um a lot of people asking um who it's about angry rant man um if you get a chance just search him up and i'm sure you'll see his videos um he's gone viral a few times to say the least um but yeah let's move into the super chats neil early on asked about martinelli saying needs to be held accountable especially after comments he made about tracking back um well i've, I've held him accountable um I know you're saying instead of Saka, but I wouldn't say instead of. I think, you know, it's all in. Brandon says, great week for the hate alongs. It sure was. Um, <laughs> Esther says, I told you on the fan call about this overrated, overhyped front four. Sell them all. Uh, Colkis says, tell them Matisse and Saeed. Football heritage and football pedigree. Community man, keep my club out your mouth. Hashtag Hala Madrid. <laughs> And Brandon says they eliminated six. Yeah, it's all out. David says at the Emirates for the first time against Villa, now we lose to Bayern in similar fashion with completely dead second halves. Disappointing, but I still believe Arteta needs to rotate and trust players his last step to learn. I actually disagree. I think his last step is to get rid of some of the players that he holds in rotation. I think that's the last step to learn. Um I, I'm actually hesitant to agree with you on the rotating thing because what are we saying? We want to see Reese Nelson, Emil Smith, Rowe, Eddie, and Ketia start games. Now, I don't know about that, brother. I think we need to see them replaced. Um, 
And like I said, Havertz becomes impact player, Jesus impact player potentially off the bench. Then we have better options. Um, but yeah, we move. Love for the super chat. Someone city here. Big up Ziggy, my guy. Hope you're good. Big up Ziggy. He told, me to, shout. He told me to again? shout him out. Man. He told me he met he literally messaged me specifically to shout him out. <laughs> I'll tell you that, did you see the story that I shared in the WhatsApp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't add him, don't add him. Big yeah, up, yeah. big up, Ziggy. <laughs> big up, Ziggy. Um, Ziggy, he says, All Arsenal fans need to rub one out. Post not clarity will probably help them understand the state of their club. <laughs> no major trophies in two decades, and they come with chests bigger than Mia Khalifa. Oh, that. <laughs> hey, Ziggy, man. Quality. Just so everyone, just so everyone knows, Ziggy's a United fan, you know, so it's been a decade for him as well. So, just, just so people know. Ziggy's too much, though, man. <laughs> Ziggy's too much. He's probably out and about now. What time is it over there? Oh, yeah. He's always out. It doesn't matter what time. It, it don't matter what time. It don't matter. It don't matter what time. Big up Ziggy every time, man. <laughs> um, right, a few more on C. That's now four seasons without a trophy for Super Mikarteta. Turkish said within 18 months, we're winning a major. The countdown is on. Broski, it sure is. Reiterated on this show. Not hiding. Ryan says, big up the big six panel as usual. Turkish, our season over. Front three was poor, just like the rest of the team not showing up. We showed no fight, no desire, no passion. Arteta is out of his depth now. Well, we, we will find out. We will find out. In terms of the Premier League, six games to go. And the transfer window is a massive one where, you know, we've just talked about what we need um, in superstar quality. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Your daily Arsenal fraud says, hearing a lot of shit talk from teams who won't be there next year. How about you guarantee your qualification? Matisse, can we expect you back in Yeah, I'd like to respond. I'd like to respond. Um, you were not there for seven years, so I think I'm entitled to take a break. You fly the flag for London because you're the biggest club in London because London is red. So you go and handle business. You go pick up a Champions League, then you can talk to me. All right? Hold that. Okay. And I also think we need to repeat to people that think just because our teams are dead or lost or whatever that we can't speak. It's a football show. We're, we're not going to just speak on our team. We're going to speak on the topic in hand. So mm. we're allowed to speak on other teams. Don't judge us because on the basis of our team. Just mm. judge us on our opinions. Mm. Mm. Yes, sir. Um, Thanks for that class. Matisse, will you be willing to bet a thousand dollars that Arsenal lift a trophy before Chelsea? Toby, I'll bet you five thousand. Hell, thousand dollars. Yo, go what on, the, money where your money mouth is, is, lads. Money where your mouth is, lads. One K, five K. Hold on. The, 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 the problem with this is that oh, you no, guys, no, no, you, no. Yes, you no. guys count, you guys count community shields. So I don't yes, play those no. games. Addison, yeah, can you games. confirm that the community <laughs> shield don't count? Can you confirm that, please? One sec, you, man. Matisse, if he confirms that community, bro, I have count, no way. I don't know if this man's on. address, I don't know his details. I'll get it I don't all. know if he's a I'll real man, all. he it's might not even be a real on. person. This might be a cat. Like if we win the FA Cup and I come to him in May asking for my bag, is he gonna give it to me? You know what I'm saying? Who we don't know you, Addison. We don't know you, Addison. You know, it's a problem before the final. The day before the final for the United game, would you put, put it on the line? <laughs> Matisse, what are you saying? <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, brother. Tom's got Tom's I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't bet anyway. I don't no, make I bets. Said, how much is that in pounds? That's Toby in Turkish making bets now. I don't $5, make thousand dollars. Probably yeah. like, probably like I made a bet with Abby. I'm not making no more bets. pounds. I don't make more bets. I can't, I, I, I can't confidently bet that because... Right, and at this point, you can't. Toby, go back, go back, go back to what you was doing, Toby. I'll bet you, I'll bet you one K that Arsenal win a trophy before Tottenham. Of course, you will. Why would I bet that? You're in, you're in a, you're, you should be winning more trophies than Spurs. Look at your team, but you're considering, you're considering this bet here. He's saying the same. I'm not considering it. I was, I was, I asked the question, how much is that in pounds? Why would you ask how much? I just wanted to know, wouldn't it? I just want to know the exchange. You woke up and then you realized, shit, who do I support? 
the hell? He said he wants the exchange guy? rate because he's going to America soon, man. I, you he's see me? I, the exchange rate. I, I am. I have. <laughs> I've come off. I have come off the crypto capital. I am now a responsible young man with with plans, finances to manage. I do not make bets. Okay, we 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 manage our finances mm. accordingly. This is. I don't encourage it. I really don't. You know, young men, please just do your thing properly. Yeah, we don't. Do we should that. just do. Yeah, you know what it is. Do yeah, forfeits do or something like that. That's 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 easier. Forfeits or yeah, 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 yeah. That uh, you next, can do. Yeah. Next one we got. Um, if England want to win anything, tell Rice to just clean up and let Manu run the show. He's just a Kanoa McTominay, worst midfielder on the ball at Arsenal. See what I mean? Like Rice, all of a sudden, people trying to jump on him. No, but is yeah. he the worst midfielder on the ball at AFC at Arsenal? At, at Arsenal. Yeah, that's a that I, I, I don't no. know if that's a hot have you, take. have you seen Havertz on the ball or am I going mad? Okay, Havertz, but you're gonna call him a midfielder now. He plays up front, man. He's a Broski, I don't know what he is, bro. Yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> He's not a midfielder. He's too shit to be a midfielder. The manager said midfielder. I'm going by that. Okay, I'm if you're gonna put Havertz in there, I'd say. Bro, to, to be honest, Rice ain't bad on the ball. He ain't great. He ain't bad. No, but no, but no, but he's not the he's not the best at Arsenal. That's what his point was. Like I think Partey's better on the ball. I think Jorginho. Oh yeah, better on the yeah, ball. yeah. Odegaard's yeah. definitely on the ball, you know. Oh, Jorge, has, it depends what you mean on the ball because you see Jorginho, when we're talking about him, we're talking about more passing, first touch, drop of the shoulder. But with Rice, he can carry the ball from A to B. He's, Jorginho he's can't do that. That's he's also the on the ball. the ball. Do you get what I'm saying? Partey's got the right balance yeah. between Jorginho and Rice. He's he's the best at his, at his top talent. Um, Vlad says, ain't God just great? He answered them by prayers. Um... What's that? No, that's for Man City. I'll save that. I'll save that too. That's for Chelsea. Kimmich went to right back and in five games, he retakes his position as the best right back in the world. World class. Grizz, when is Arsenal playing City in... Oh, wait. <laughs> we were talk by the way, that was, a, that was a sick edit, by the way. That transition between you doing that to Kimmich. Yeah, well, I, was was about to pull it. I was about to pull it. I can't lie. I was about to pull it. I, 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 yeah, yeah oh. I was just... Yeah, I thought that was a sick transition. Should I pull it? But I thought, fuck it, man. Yeah. That was um, bad boy. Um, K KP says, Saka and Arteta. By the way, who did that edit, by the way? Who did that edit on Twitter, by the way? Can you own up, please? Chris, did you do that edit on Twitter? Please, Wallahi, did he you do it? Me. Wallahi, it wasn't me. Who did it then? Of which one? That's one a you. bad it's edit what? on Twitter. I you know I can't do that shit. You know I can't do that shit. Of Turkish. Of Turkish. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm oh come on, man! Not everyone bad. denying it. It was one of you. So who was it? It wasn't me. Up. Okay, let's just blame Skull. Really? Let's just blame Skull. I know. Blame Skull. I know how to do it though. I can let's go just... on Canva and you take the background off. It's easy. Yeah, to I do. can't do it, so it's not me. I have yeah. no idea. Sk yeah, but Skull's not here to defend himself. Just blame Skull. That's what we usually do. Yeah. Simple. Okay. Huey, Skull, was it you? Yeah. No. no. Huey, Said, was it you? Do it though. I know how to do it properly, so I wouldn't do it like that. So it's not me. I don't think yeah, it was I, Matisse. I know how to do it properly, so I would what not do mean? it like that. Yeah, I, I don't do it, man. Say so Skull. Say so Skull. Skull yeah. would do it properly, though. That's true as well. Uh, listen, let's get the back. But maybe he's doing it to disguise it. Anyway. K yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, chat, not every tweet is done what you think by who you think. There are a lot of, there are a lot of shitheads in there Most that try to get others Most in trouble. 100%. Yeah, so we all try to get in each other's trouble. So don't think, oh, that's Turkish. That's Grizz. No, they try to fuck each other up. Or yeah, Matisse, Matisse fucked himself as well. Weirdly, I, I, he puts. I do. Shit. I take great pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I said I take great pleasure. Uh, KP, big up KP. He says Saka and Arteta are on fraud watch, but Arsenal enjoyed their journey. Bring back. <laughs> Man said, "Bring back Babs for his cooking." <laughs> <laughs> a few oh, people ask a few people ask you for Babs, you know. Hamza says Babs wanted to show up like the Undertaker when Havertz was scoring against bottom 15 Bro. teams, but not when not when crap against real teams. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Has he scored like, against the top? But the, the, the difficult thing with that is, yeah, I understand, but imagine I pulled out of the show and put Babs on tonight, even though a lot of you probably would have actually people would have probably fucking liked that. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> Last time they loved it. Time. Fucking hell. <laughs> next season. Um, yeah, yeah. Next season. Anytime we lose, I'm putting, I'm bringing Babs on. Um, wait, well, wait till the Prem's done, and then then Babs will. He must. Okay. Dom, Say Dom, less. Yeah, he must. It's very. Dom says it's very easy for fan narratives to catch fire. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. 
Um, all we needed was one week for Arsenal to crumble. We've been waiting for this and it tastes absolutely fantastic. Ayo says, I agree, Saka's not world class, but I do feel for a player. What? These guys are mad, you know. These guys, honestly, they need to relax, you know, with these names, you know, man. Like, seriously. <laughs> just oh, like... Skip that last sentence nicely. Yeah, but what is wrong with people, man? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't read these, I don't read these silly names. I know, out. that's what I'm saying. What are people doing, man? Bro, uh, did, didn't you see the earliest the earlier super chat said far to smelly? I'm a, I'm a big man, you know. What? Am I gonna say far to smelly? Bro? Like, even, I'm saying it now, but like I'm that this is the last I can't say these types of things. Yeah, it's <laughs> People um, need to chill, man. He also says I agree, Saka's not world class, but I feel for a player who's played 250 games in five seasons. The kid needs help and the boys are tired. 100 percent we need true, help. You know. this is just yeah. true. He does need, he needs they don't really rotate him at all, bro. Yeah, they don't rotate yeah. him at no nothing. Not yeah. even like little Br- bro, brothers mad. like him and bro, Jude Bellingham mad. are playing a lot of football out of very whereas Grealish and Foden, I know they're not as young, but you know, what I mean they've been managed by Pep. Yeah, yeah. It didn't mm. work yesterday, but still. Man, man, man said we're segueing. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Said, yeah. Yes, Javi says a Champions anywhere. League run you can be proud of Turkish and Arsenal fans. It's okay, no, no. you just don't have that European heritage like Chelsea. Oh, that admin is fucking disgusting. Hey, this admin. Oh, you man, you man admin, need to yeah. sack that admin, bro. You can't be tweeting shit like that when you come out of a group with Lons. Who else was in your group, Turkish? P- PSV? Yes, Who else and was Sevilla. Hey, Jesus. Sevilla. It's, the, it's the Europa League group, and then they and play then Porto. Paul. And he's talking about something to be proud of. Don't take the piss. This is the same as England when they go past all these dead teams in the group stage and then they come up against a proper team and it's like, very proud. Come on, man. You're a big club. Act like it. God damn. Hamza adds on the rice debate. Fans still in their honeymoon phase. He was absolute garbage. Both legs offers nothing in possession. Lights were way too bright. I I agree. He wasn't wasn't good in, in both legs, but... Definitely an exaggeration there. In terms was of... though? Who was? Yeah, Apart from older guy, yeah, who was? Mm. Yeah, and even older guy. That first half against Bayern, I think he could have made yeah. a difference. He was a bit funny with his passing at times, but yeah, it, it's, no one showed up. As I thought your centre not... backs, back. backs were good. Yeah, fair. Kane was quite fair, but yeah, I mean. Every time Sane had the ball, it looked peak for us. I know that's not on the centre backs, but yeah, yeah. Know, generally, they done well. But first, again, first, I think we lost it in the first leg, and centre backs were culpable in the first leg. So, yeah. you know, you, you can't just play good for one leg in the, in the Champions League. Um, Ice Cold says, as an Arsenal fan, I agree with Tobes. We overhype our players. Realistically, we need a level raiser in our team. Isak and Elise linked also need a dynamic eight. Thoughts, Isak, one hundred percent. Elise. Injury problems, but obviously quality player um, and dynamic wrong, eight. Wrong, wrong. But this fight, is the it? point. This is the point. Isaac is definitely an Arsenal player. You know, I've compared him to sort of Anelka. You know, like he plays stylistically compared him to Anelka in the past. And Elise should have been someone that you should have looked at more than a Fabio Vieira, for example, who's been just a total dud. Oh, yeah, yeah. How much? How much was Fabio Vieira? Thirty-five million. million? How much? Thirty-five million. Yeah, yeah. thirty-five million. Yeah, thirty-five same, million. Same price as McAllister, I think, or less. Mm-hmm. Say no more. more. Sorry, more, more money. Yeah, not good. Yeah, it wasn't a good signing. Um, all right, let me get back to finding the Arsenal ones. All that talk, Matisse said. Yeah, Arsenal are still much larger than Chelsea, and that's a fact. Focus on your declining club. Oh, yeah, that video is going to be mad. Emery knocked out Bayern with less resources, worse squad, and was financially handicapped and beat a much better Bayern team. Arteta can't beat the worst Bayern team in twenty years. Tobes, have you got anything to say on a, on Kane and Dyer from your point of view, Tobes? Oh yeah, Dyer flipping. Yeah. Uh, Kane stunk, but he back. did. Kane, Kane stunk yesterday, but he did his thing in the first leg. So he, as far as I'm what concerned, he's Dyer? done. It. Oh, wait, 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 Tobes, wait, time management, time management, he's cheeky, yeah, move on, move on, yeah, we no, 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 no,
But thank yeah, you, Eric. Laughed. You called him, him, call him a bum, man. You called him a bum. Yeah, I just said we all laughed, including me, because he's a bum. What but was that stat that came out today, Tobes? What was that stat? Has Eric Dyer has been to more Champions League? Oh, yeah, he's been to as many ever. Champions League finals as Arsenal. Mad. Scary. We must, we must move. What does that mean? Is that, is that what you, is that, does that make you happy? It's that just happy? reflective reading, bro. <laughs> why, why are you so pressed? Reflect. Be angry at your team. Don't, 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 don't bring your nasty energy to me. I saw how amped up you were in the, in your post match reaction. I'm, I'm just asking, are you following Eric Dyer around? Hey, 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 I'm not on this bullshit. Yo, mo- let, Turkish, don't let them do this to you, though. Let's move. Let's, let's, go, move. Let's, go, let's, go. let's move. Don't play this game. Oh, man, I've, go. I've got the keys, bro. We lock up when we lock up. We can see you again. <laughs> it's, it's, it's calm. We've got, we got fucking time. I got forever Arsenal at 1 a.m. We still got an hour 12 <laughs> minutes left. So please, <laughs> no good to go. Um, let me see what's next. <laughs> um, NUFX says, I'm with Turkish on the Carabao Cup debate site in Man United from last season. This season, I had the group stages in the Champions League. And AO says, Saka's 22. Contributed 30 goals and assists this season. He clearly needs help. Obviously, adding on to this criticism earlier. Um, Matisse, you have stabilizers and look at you now. I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> and AO is again, some of the Arsenal representatives on YouTube are the reason why some of our players get insulted. Stop overhyping our players. Big up Tevin. Big up Mandem. Not shying away from supporting, but my little niece passed away on Sunday. Nah. Fuck, man. That's horrible, man. My God. Broski, sorry to hear that, man. That's awful. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, man. Rest in peace, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Oh, man. Tevin's been a big supporter of the show for for years as well, man. Mm. We had him in the calling, man. Ankle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, A lot of people's favorite on the the comment section. Uh, Tevin, Mm. thoughts with family. yeah, I mean, if there's anything we can do to help, message man. Message man, if there's anything we can do to help over here, because, yeah, we're more than willing, bro. But sorry to hear that, man. Um, on that note, you know what? There's a... Actually, no, I'm near the end of the Super Chats. Whether people think Saka's world-class or not, the fact people are saying that he shouldn't start for England is disrespectful to the guy. Yeah, modern day football. This is what happens. Arsenal, it's not about winning the cups, it's about the friends you make along the way. Arash says, Didn't bang that last time. Robert says, Turk, still think Arteta's better than Tuchel. Yes, Grizz, am I still a simpleton for saying Klopp is not levels above him? Yes, Klopp about to go four years, no major trophies, too. Oh, yeah, Robert, both questions, yes. Um, and on that, on that, cool. I think that's it. Actually, is this is this one on Arsenal? Yeah, here we are. Raji says the vultures have been circling all season, and now they have come to feast. Not good enough when it matters, but I'd rather be here than where we were for the past fifteen years. So I'm behind this team, one hundred percent. And that is that for the Arsenal super chats. If I've missed any, apologies, people. Um. And Addison says, no, nah, I'm real. I'll put it in an account now. I'm from Australia. You, man, he's putting it on you, man. Hey, what are you, man, saying? I don't care. I don't oh, care. Listen, man. Yeah, just say you're oh, not on it, then. Just say you're I'm, not on I'm it. I'm not. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, on I'm, it. I'm honestly no, very Tobes, organized Tobes now. For exchange rate. I want Tobes to say he's not on it. Stop asking for fucking exchange I'm rate. not on it. Why would I be yeah. on it? That's a stupid I don't play bet. these games anymore. I don't play these games That's anymore. That's a stupid bet. It don't make sense. Yeah. Oh, so, you're more likely to win than me. Okay, fine. Do it then. But don't bet me plus, about it. Do it. Plus, plus, I ain't I ain't losing a money over no Carabao Cup if that's something that... You, obviously, you got to go and, you know, treat everything with respect. But, bro, this has to be for something um, like Champions League or Premier League. Like, I ain't losing money for Carabao. I'm saying. Bro. You Fuck must that. win something. <laughs> man's, 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 man's asking me to put money down after spending $105 million on Declan Rice. Bro, focus on your team, mm. bro. Yeah? Mm. Tell him, man. Tell him, Toby. How, how can we compete with this superpower that's Arsenal? How can we? <laughs> how can we yeah, compete? How I've can been we told compete? Yeah. the best team since sliced bread. We cannot, best team in the we cannot compete. We cannot, yeah. we cannot compete. But interestingly yeah. enough, I did, cannot hear, compete. I did hear an interesting stat before we move on now. If Arsenal were to lose one more game, right? If Arsenal were to lose one more game in the Prem this season, the max amount of points they can get is... 
the same as the supposed Tottenham team that apparently bottled the title to Chelsea. That's what I said, Imagine man. That. Spicy. Imagine Tottenham. that. I told you, man. Spicy. This is an Arsenal side that can compare to the Invincibles. That's a man, bad boy dude. one, you know, Saeed. Oh, Spicy shit. Don't, don't, don't bring that up. Don't bring don't that up. Don't bring say that. Say, say the second one. Say the, say the, I didn't hear that one. Yeah, to who? Can we say that one again? What? The stat? The lo- what you just, yeah, the last one. Yeah, the, last, the, last the Invincibles thing. thing. What did you say about no, Invincibles? I, no, I said that. I said that this is supposedly an Arsenal side where your own fans have compared this squad to the Invincibles. That's what I said. Oh. oh, again, you're talking about these these wild guys, man. Um, <laughs> okay, wild guys. City. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard I just, the best no, you've yeah. ever had in the Prem. This Broski. is the best defense you've ever had in the Prem. Do you, know, do you know what kind of you, uh, the last two stats you brought up is Eric Dyer's appearances in Champions League fight and, and Tottenham's highest. I didn't bring that up. He brought that up. Neither of these up. things, neither of these things have brought any success to you. I didn't all. bring up the Eric Dyer stats, brother. Uh, I only stuff. brought up the Arsenal Tottenham stat Your to show time. to show why the narrative switches when it's Arsenal. Because when it's Spurs, we were called bottle job. Right. We're called this. You, you did quote tweet the Eric Dyer right. stat though. You did quote tweet it though. So you are you are I've got he a from quote tweeted it. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't to be know fair, that. that to- listen, that Tottenham team reached the Champions League final. Arsenal have not even equaled that Tottenham team yet. So let's just let's just keep it. Moving. Oh, look at this mm. little bromance. Look at who oh, who, who, who wears the pants man. in your relationship? Who wears the pants <laughs> in you two's relationship? Let me know. I'm you. just I'm the just speaking facts, bro. I'm just speaking facts, bro. I'm just speaking facts, bro. Right, Curtis, Curtis, what the OGs? What the OGs? Ask you, Curtis. Curtis, what the OGs? 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 I want to talk to the man of the house. <laughs> the man of the house? Which one's the man of the house? Yo, after Porto, you man were singing and dancing. <laughs> like, said, you just got to the final. Which so let's one's the talk. man of the house? Can let's I just not address talk. that person, please? Let's hey, not talk. Man. Matisse, ignore him. Ignore this guy, man. He's just throwing mud. He's just throwing mud and hoping it sticks, bro. <laughs> don't, don't let it stick. Just ignore this guy, man. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, uh, we're going to keep it moving. Before we do, listen, 7.8K still in the building. It's opt up max time. Here it is. You should know what it is already. We picked five players to end the match. Man of the match from last weekend's games. And we didn't do well, to be honest. Only Cole Palmer, as you can see, man of the match awarded, man of the match selected. Our other predictions didn't quite go through. We had Sun in the Tottenham game from Tobes. Isak was man of the match. In the Man City game, we went with Grealish. Foden didn't start the game, did he? No. Sometimes listen to me always. Sometimes listen to me always. Oh, dear. Grizz. We went with Hudson or Die for the Forest game. That's my that's my team. Yeah, that's my that's me. That's me. That's not good, bro. Cunha's the one. (laughs) Why are you claiming it like (laughs) that? That's me. That's me, yeah, yo, yo, yeah, that's that me. me. Yeah, that was me. Like, you fucked up as well. Gone natural. We should have picked Solanke, bro. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> they don't listen, bro. They don't <laughs> listen. Oh, we're glad. They literally don't listen. God, that's been informed. Pure bias. Shut up. Gone natural's been informed. You've been doing <laughs> videos galore on him. And now he says Gone natural's been informed. What? Every video has been what about Gone natural. <laughs> Don't no, what you mean, me? I said, Ganacho, if you watch the, the games, he's been scoring goals and assisting. So, no, what do you want? It's there was too, too much bias. Chelsea. It's too much bias. Come on, man. <laughs> ah, people. So, that was game week 33. As you can see, we didn't make it one out of five. Can we concentrate? We move on to game week 34. And as you can see here, we're 19, $19,000. Sure. Yeah, $19,000 if you pick five man of the matches. <laughs> There's not many league games, though, so the only big six fixture we have is Fulham-Liverpool. So I'll go straight to that to get Grizz's selection first. Who is it? Fulham-Liverpool, Grizz. Bruv, straight. Uh, where's that Munoz guy? Oh, oh you're going shit. against He's Liverpool, yeah? Yeah, 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 hold on. Or, or, or usually or usually, Fing has a bad boy game against us. Um, William. This is, man, this is man of the match, though, you know? It's ain't who scores or who gets most tackled. This is man, man of, of the match. match. Mm. Do you think you win the game? Nah. <laughs> okay, okay. Why are you laughing? Okay. It's not funny. <laughs> um, go on, go on, Grace. We'll go with um, l- Let's go with... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Munoz. Munoz. Uh, Munoz. Pick. Munoz. Not Nunez, Munoz. Uh, he's selected there. Fulham, Munoz picked. Aston Villa, Bournemouth. Is it Watkins? Is this the easy pick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, yeah. 
Let's get Watkins in there. Um, Everton Forest. This is tough. This is a tough one, man. I should have done. What again? Nah, bro. No, man. Has he just got a goal this season? Piss, of course he has, you dickhead. Has he scored, man? I ain't for that brother, man. Does <laughs> Calvin do him play? Let me see his profile. No, nah, he doesn't. He doesn't. He didn't start you know last what? game. He 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 will start. I reckon he'll start. You know, because Beto it's was too awful. risky, man. It's too risky. I would go with risky. Woods. I would go with Woods. I would go with Woods. Chris nah, Woods on nah, fire. Everton, minute, Everton, Everton just lost six 0 They ain't conceding goals, man. This Chris Woods on fire at the what? minute, man. He How, is, how's though. that logic work? They just see the six goals and they make us in some more. <laughs> no, because this is a relegation battle, isn't it? It's going to be up for it. They lost Chelsea away. They're going to be up for it. Sean Dyche don't concede. His, his, his nah, fair, teams don't fair. concede six goals twice. No, nah, I bet you they keep a clean one. sheet. I bet you they keep a clean sheet. Saeed, why do you do that for, bro? Why do we, why do we pick a defender, dude? Why don't we pick a defender? Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, shall we go with a brave man? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Yeah. as well, but he's been getting cooked lately, man. <laughs> I think he's injured as well. He got injured, remember? He I went off to Chelsea. Oh, McNeil. If he, he takes Let's go, McNeil. McNeil. One assist this. that he might get man of the match in it. One cross. Yeah. yeah. You weren't sure about this. No, nah, all right. Well, I'm going with Woods. Yeah, bro, they all, man. Yeah, just, uh, just, these players are all. Thanks, Chris Wood, man. All right, go Chris on. Wood, man. Me and Huey go Chris Wood. I think Chris Wood is a man. Let's go, Chris Wood. Yeah, yeah, I would go with Chris Wood. That's 50% of the thing. Dead cool, dead cool. All right, Lou and Brentford. Bruv. Um, I'm always, Bomo, always Barkley for me, man. Always Barkley. Yeah, Bomo. Yeah, Barkley yeah. at home, man. He hasn't been, Barkley. Ooh, Barkley. Yeah, he hasn't Barkley, been starting them. He hasn't been man's starting them. Man's been one of the players man. of the season, man. Ross Barkley, man. Come Luton on. at home, man. Got to go. Got to Luton are tough. Yeah, I would go with Bomo personally. He might not start. He might not even start. He might not even start. Sheffield Josh Cullen. This one was a hard one. I would with McBurnie. I would with McBurnie. man. I would go with dead teams, bro. I'd go with Hughes' up, uh, suggestion in this one. I don't know why. What did you say? say? Josh Cullen, Burnley. Oh, why you say that? What does he play? Who's that? Uh, hold him mid. No, nah, man. Hold mid. Would he get points, though? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's that? Burnley? Burnley nah, and um, Chef. Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. go with that, then. How do we know he's not waffling? Yeah, why are we just doing ran a random Josh island. Cullen? Have any of you island. heard of him before? Have <laughs> any of you heard <laughs> of Josh island. Cullen? I don't know who that no. man is. It's just because he's Irish, probably. And that's no, 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 no. He, he was their, he was their <laughs> captain, I'm pretty sure, to bring them up from the championship in their highest point season. Like, he's a bad man. He's uh, probably that bad, man. Like but why would hold him in? You know, Sheffield United Burnley's a fucking <laughs> hard game to pick a man of the match from, for God's sake. I'm picking, I'm picking, if you're asking me, I'm picking uh, Sheffield United Ooh. striker, the Archer, the only one who's impressive. Oh. Yeah, he, he doesn't bang like that, though. He doesn't bang like that. He's a bang ladder. But this, this Burnley winger, that Burnley winger is a bad boy. That Burnley winger, young. This boy. is the big. This is the big six picks anyway. Obviously, we do our individual picks as well. So yeah, that's yeah. our that's our pick uh, selected um, for Optimax. Like I said, nineteen thousand dollars up for grabs, people. So you might as well go use the link oh. in the live chat or use the link in the description or use the link in the comment section. There's a pinned comment. You can check that out now. If you're watching this after, if you're watching this live, it's in the live chat. Show them some love. It's free to play. You sign up. You play week in, week out. Up to max, you can win up to $19,000 right now. But there's up to five where you can win up to $2,500 each week. Obviously, there's rollovers included as well. And there's obviously the big six competition we're running as well. Where, listen, you might say, is, is it too late to enter? No, it's not too late to enter. Because <laughs> when you look at the scores, and I'm going to bring them up right now, We've been playing for four weeks, people, and this is the scores. Grizz, top with three points. So we've yeah. been playing four weeks, and Grizz is only on three points. I'm on two points, Tob's on one, Matisse is on minus one, Saeed's on minus two, and Hughes on minus four. reason I say you can still play is because it's all based on the number of players you get right. So if this game was to end this week and someone had four players right, that person would have got four points. So they would have beaten every single score here. But the competition is not against us. The competition is amongst yourselves. Screenshot your results week in, week out, and send them via Discord, via Instagram, via Twitter, whichever means you want to. We'll collate them all up um, and come end of the season. Whoever has the most points, most greens, which is the most players correctly um, predicted in terms of achieving their points target, will win £200. So you can still apply now. I say apply. Just that, um, not download it. Visit the website. Live um, link in the live chat, link in the description, link in the comment section. Let's move. 
there is a prediction to make actually. Oh yeah, actually. you're playing Wolves, Wolves, isn't it? Wolves Arsenal, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Wolves Arsenal. So let me show the table. That's how the table's looking. A little change. And oh, change. oh, I'm not oh, second bottom anymore. Oh, yes. fuck's sake. What is going on here now? That is the change. That Yo, change. man. Grizz, go on, please. Grizz, Bro, try and win the this, other one, man. I'm doing the other one in the other one. So hopefully something will work and out. And back-to-back forfeits. <laughs> We're know, working. Crazy. We out here. We out here working. I've got 17 correct scores. Joint second. How am I down here? I don't belong with you. in the relegation man. zone, you know? Okay. I do not belong with you, man. Yeah. Up, man. You know what? Yeah, Fuck you. You, was, you, you, was, you was above you on goal difference, which is correct scores, but then you was late, so you got minus one, and that put you below. So, yeah, we moved. <laughs> Hugh, man, Hugh, 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 you got to start streaming more, bro. You got to start streaming more, bro. You got to get a watch, mate. You got to get a watch. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. <laughs> I just don't look at it. Hey, oh, Tobes. Um, Wolves Arsenal. I'm going to go 2 on Arsenal. I'm going to go 3 1. Uh, Saeed. I'm going to go 2 all, man. 2 all. That'll be the end of the season for us. Um, Hugh. Mm. 2 0 Arsenal. Matisse. Mm. Uh, I'm going to go 1 1. 1 1. And Grizz. 2 0 Arsenal. 2-0. So, 2-0 from Grizz and Hugh. 2-1 from Tobes. I've gone 3-1. Saeed's gone 2-2. Matisse has gone 1-1. Yeah, we'll publish this anyway, people. All right, next up. Well, Man City. Yeah. My clock, man. Ain't easy. My clock. No? What about him? My clock, man. The clock's tired. Him, no, you're a no, big no. club. You're a big club. Let's talk you're to big you. club, man. Talk yeah. about Harlan and them, man. Can we get that <laughs> clip first before we start? <laughs> <laughs> Use it in your intros on your channel. Uh shit. We are here. Well, I've just gone full time. I'm I'm reeling in as much content as I can possibly use. Yeah. All these guys <laughs> saying we're a big club. You're a big but club. Do the hyena the hyenas want to go or, or will I talk? No, nah, I, I actually do want to hear your your um spew on this one because analysis, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Um out of the Champions League, the, the, the current Champions League holders, out of the competition on penalties. And um, it, do, it doesn't rank in the top 15 losses I've ever experienced. It, 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 does, it, it, it doesn't hurt like that. It doesn't hurt like that. You talk about Arsenal players not fighting. I've seen Arsenal fans talking about they didn't show the desire. We showed the desire. We went toe-to-toe at Real Madrid. Well, they didn't go toe-to-toe. There's only one team playing football last night, and that was Manchester City. Real Madrid... Um, Carlo Ancelotti said he, he, he sang from Arsenal's hymn sheet three weeks ago in the Etihad, defensive shape uh, and try and frustrate City. Now, did we do enough to break them down? No, we were um, we, we didn't do enough. We were too predictable. We were too one-dimensional. We weren't taking any risks. We, we, we didn't put any pressure on Real Madrid. We didn't earn their respect. They were happy to let our defenders and our, and our midfielders play with the ball on the edge of the, the 18-yard box. Um, because we didn't even rain any long shots. We didn't use Erling Haaland. Um, I think there's an issue with Erling Haaland. That's the big elephant in the room for me now. I wouldn't be surprised if something comes out this summer from Erling Haaland saying, yo, I don't know Ooh. about this anymore. I don't know about this anymore because I feel for the guy. Ooh. I feel, bro, he's frustrated. He's frustrated. He's, he's up there acting like a WWE superstar because he's not getting any service. He looks frustrated. If we wanted someone to do what Haaland's doing right now, we could have signed Cody Rhodes and said, you go up there Ooh, and battle. That's a bomb um, show, Rudiger. guys. That's a bomb show, guys. How are you guys not? Because I'm sorry, because the reality is we you brought mute, in. A... You meet Saeed. Why change the tune now? Because when I said last week, yeah, uh, you wanted a guy who could just, you know, remember I said that last week and you were like, well, it's part of the game plan. I said, come on, man, you can't be doing this forever. But yeah, go ahead. No, no, <laughs> I, I, I get that that's part of his game. And I don't think the re- the the parts I'm talking about are his fault. We don't find Erling Haaland. We don't look for Erling Haaland. We insist on going to the wings. We insist on passing back. We insist on passing sideways. At some point, when he's making runs, you have to go and find him, play a ball over the top, play a cross in. You know, give him a proper battle with the defenders where he can go and do what he does. But we're not doing that. We're not playing to Erling Haaland's strengths. The guy looks frustrated as hell. It's like playing with 10 men. It's like playing with 10 men, and it's not his fault. There's nothing more for me that he can do. I've just never seen the best signing in Premier League history just be sold after two seasons. That's just are that's you try- just are you, are you trying to quote me. 
Uh, well, yes, I am. I'm, I'm well, then exactly get your quotes right. You. I said most exciting. Get your quotes right. Most exciting. Well, this isn't very exciting, is it? Because it's not very. Uh, what? Well, well, you're not, I'm not very excited. Yesterday it was not very exciting. It was very, very, yeah, well, very boring. Fifty-two goals last season would say he is exciting, but this season's so been slightly different. We've, we've, changed, we've changed. We've changed our style. Of... Now, one season and now it's over. We're just going to just move on. No, I'm not saying it's over. I'm saying we need to play to Haaland's strengths. If we want to keep Haaland and we want to get the most out of Erling Haaland, what's the point in having the the, the best number nine in the world up there if you're not going to fucking look for him? If you're not going to try and play him through, if you're playing uh, one of your most creative midfielders in Phil Foden this season, waste it out in the right wing. You're not going to get the best out of Phil Foden in the right wing. You have Bernardo Silva in there beside Kevin De Bruyne, by the way, who looks absolutely bollocks. He's knackered Kevin De Bruyne. So is Rodri. So are loads of our players. But that's just something you have to deal with. What's the point in putting Phil Foden out in the wing? What, what mm -hmm. is the point? That was the last night was the omen was on us to take the game to Real Madrid. We should have be, had plan A, plan B, plan C and plan D ready in order as to how we can punish Real Madrid. But we only have plan A. Plan A didn't work. They, they got what they wanted. They couldn't believe their luck. And, and the City fans saying, oh, we played the better football. We played the better football. Real Madrid will argue the exact same thing. They'll say they came to the Eddie Habit a game plan. They, they nullified us. They got their goal early doors. Couldn't believe their luck. Said, we'll shut up shop now. Um, you play along with the ball on the halfway line all you want. Diaz, Akanji, Roger, you guys knock the ball all around all you want. As long as we have this 18-yard box compact, we're chilling. And that's exactly what happened. We didn't mm. create enough chances. I don't care about the stats, 33 shots and this, that, the other. You can have shots all you want and rain them into row Z and row Y. There was very few clear-cut chances. There was yeah, I was going to say... There was Sorry. one where Kevin De Bruyne, it rolls to Kevin De Bruyne, 10 yards out. We're all thinking it's, it's going it's go, we're all thinking yeah. it's going in the back of the net, but it's he's human. These things happen. You can't say because we didn't score one chance, you know, um, that's enough. We did not create enough chances. It was side to side, side to side, side to side, ran out of ideas. We didn't do enough. And then look, you get to a penalty shootout, it's a total lottery. It's a total lottery. Talk to me after the shootout because look, it is what it is. But as far as last night goes, I don't think we did enough. I don't think we were creative enough. We didn't have enough flair. We were we were too one-dimensional, and, and that's the way it was. Real Madrid were able to deal with that. Arsenal were able to deal with that. Teams now know that if you come to the Etihad and set up a two banks of five or a really congested 18-yard box, you have a good chance of stopping City scoring because we're not willing to take any risks. Even when we invite Real Madrid out a few times last night and there's avenues to play a killer ball, one over the top, uh, unleash Doku, unleash whoever, no, no, no. Let them filter back to the defensive shape. Let them get back to the, their shape. He's a control we'll freak. We know, we know Guardiola is a control freak. Sorry, Matisse, very quickly. We know mm. Guardiola is a control freak. And I tweeted, you know, a little bit, you know, with a bit of jinx, hopefully, in the, involved. But I did I did praise him. And I did praise his coaching ability. Don't go to, to, I did <laughs> praise his coaching ability to make sure you dominate every single game. But it's oh, domination yes, I... and there's being dangerous and there's being effective. So he looks to control everything involved around mm. football on a football pitch. And sometimes you're right. There needs to be more risks taken. Look, first and foremost, I'm not here to talk about Man City. You guys are. I'm here to apologise to Real Madrid. Uh, and oh, let, say, let Matisse come back so we can hear it. I want to hear it. Because you were... You were... Uh, everyone. Yeah. You know what, what you, you are a disgrace. You are a disgrace. What? Well, I haven't even. What, you just what, what, what the? <laughs> you are a disgrace. I want to hear. I want to hear you. You're a disgrace. Give what Saeed do you want to do? What do you want to say? No, no, no. I, I want you to give Saeed a sincere and formal apology because last week when we yeah. were saying, you know, Roman, when Saeed said, you know what, Real Madrid might have something, and I said to Saeed, yeah, you're right, the counter attack, and you're like, no, 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 no. They're not going to do anything at all. I'm like, bro. They, they had one chance, which was a goalkeeping error out for his path. Not all goalkeeping error, sorry. Said, one attack. was they can hurt Man City from the counter -attack. And I said, of and course they, they can. Scored from a counter attack. Of course they can. Are you really bro, doubting that? Bro. Are you really are you really doubting my footballing opinions to say that I didn't think they would be able to ability well, to I'm not your footballing yeah, opinions. Exactly. I so I said I said Madrid. Team, no, I thought Man City should beat them and Man City should have beaten it doesn't them. Doesn't matter what well, you think. I put that one. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think. Okay, hyenas, calm down. This is the Man City Madrid. All right. It First and matter. foremost, apologies to all the Madrid fans. I galvanized Real Madrid, Halle Madrid. I wanted Madrid to win inside. Of course, I didn't want City to win, but I genuinely thought this Man City would win team would win. But absolute iconic, iconic performance from Rudiger. 
iconic performance from Carvajal, who gets a yellow Carvajal. card, but yes. still was monumental. Ferland Mendy has been getting criticised since his time at uh, Real Madrid. Was fantastic. Mm. And we all know Valverde is bionic, man. This guy is just pure, pure bionic. So me, I don't really want to talk about Man City too much. I'll let you guys go. I thought Real Madrid, Hala Madrid, you guys. I, I don't think their performance was that good. No, but I think no problem. But these I, I guys they, do. They're trying to cuss they me for saying. They they no, no, I don't, I don't watch the game. No, 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 um, in their compliment, they could have done a lot more in that front. What I'm City saying, didn't is, let out. City didn't let out. Hang on, I don't admire the way they played, but I get it because it was efficient. It did what it need, they needed to do. Jude Bellingham over the course of the 180 minutes, I barely knew he was on the pitch. I'm sorry, we've, we've gassed this guy up too high. We've gassed this guy up too high. He he's 20 years old, undoubtedly a really talented footballer, but he's a long, long way to go before he hey, really feels that potential. Hey, Jude, brothers are really? yeah, I get it. No, I'm, get I'm, it. I'm a fan yeah, of Jude no, Bellingham. I'm you a know. fan you, of Jude you Bellingham. You both missed out. He, he did not, I get it. Listen, Phil Foden impacted the two ties far more than Jude Bellingham did, but no one will talk about that. Because Bellingham hops into the stands and starts going, I see, I see, Madrid, Madrid, I see. Everyone goes, oh, wow. give him the Ballon d'Or. Give him the Ballon wow. d'Or. You know, I did hear that. Dude was you cool. I did hear that. that you were cool. Bro, yeah. he, bro, he was part of the goal. Did you not see the, the way he dropped? Bro, the I he touch, but come on. No, nah, it's not man. enough. It's not enough. Yeah, but overall, yeah, overall, yeah, overall yeah. they were oh, bust, guys. They were bust. I agree with what you see saying. I see the comments as well. I see the to the comments. Man, bear man, I hated on Jude Bellingham, man. You need to relax with Jude Bellingham. Yeah, I mean, he worked hard. He was in the space, in half space. Bro, he was there, man. You don't oh, have to he was there, but no one saw him. Madness. He was present, but he wasn't Bro, present. But you don't you know have what I'm to saying? be doing a thousand crazy stuff. He's in stuff. class, His but he's not listening. Simple. He's in class, but he's not listening to you. Why do I say... No, hold on a minute. Why do I say Love Island for Lady? No, no, right, right. You are ridiculous. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what you're doing here, man. Look at what I'm doing here. We can't allow this to happen. Bro, you're like one of those NBA fans. You're a player, Stan. That's what you are. You're a player. I don't watch NBA. I don't watch NBA. You, you, you're, you're like you're like one of their fans. You're like LeBron James, Jude Bellingham. You think he's? Good? <laughs> no. Did you watch him over the two <laughs> legs, bro? He didn't impact. No, but he didn't impact. No, but you know what it is, though. He, he had that like involvement in the goal, but it didn't impact. What, Let's what not take away. Jude Bellingham? He did what he had to do. He dived around. He slowed the game down. Oh, uh, there we go, man. He oh, just, no, he did, bro. He did. He no, just he showed, but yeah, but that's yeah, but I think that's maturity for his age. We insulted, yeah. But I have to, I have to, I have to address. I think that's maturity Grizz. for his age. I have to address Grizz. No one thinks Madrid played their brilliant best. That's not no. what this is about. This is about understanding for the tenth time that Real Madrid are going to Real Madrid. They find a way. They didn't deserve to even win the Champions League a couple years ago when they went through PSG and all these teams. Man City, they got blammed. They still went. Mm -hmm. This is what they do. So that you just have to accept it. It's not meant to make sense. You don't have to care about the possession and the XG and, and, and the pos No one cares. This is what you're talking, you're talking, you're talking what things that we already know. I'm last Chris, week no, after Chris Bernabeu, know. hang on, Chris Matisse, no, I, I, no, I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know. I'm talking to you. Last I don't know. 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 I I was galvanizing Madrid. I was, you guys watched no, Mr. you was man. Don't do this. I was galvanizing Real Madrid. I'll tell you what you did, Grizz. I'll tell you what you did, Grizz. You know what you did, yeah? You looked at I things galvanized on the outside. Madrid. No, no, hold on a minute, hold on a you said no, Hossolu is playing in that team. They don't have a chance. Exactly. That's what you said. Bro, That's what you, you said. Okay, you okay, did. listen. I spoke about on the footballing level, Madrid ain't that team. I know about the heritage more than all of you lot because they've hurt my team the most. So I know how Seems they like operate. Learned. And that is why the salt was, was even there. It was no, there. No, it wasn't you. that salt. Sure. I was galvanizing them. There was no one more happier than when Madrid actually won. No, but you, you just, but from a footballing point of view, Man City no. should have beaten them. And I agree with matter. you on that aspect. Yeah, but it, I, it I just, did that. I absolutely did that. Don't care. But yeah. I'm a football man. I spoke from a footballing point of view. I spoke without emotion. But yes, I didn't speak with emotion. Oh, it's not emotion. I've been beaten by emotion. But, but I know if you put emotion in it, we know Madrid do Madrid things. And yesterday was a prime example of Madrid Madriding. 
because they were not in that game. Like uh, Man City just couldn't. Something. Man City were tired. Man City were finished. The couple of players he mentioned were tired. did look Both goosed. Teams are tired, man. Both teams were tired. They did Get look out goosed. Of here, man. Bro, no, get I, out know, of here, I know, man. I know, well, I know, I know, but it's, it's it's easier. They to took off Rodrigo. They took off Vinny Junior. This is the problem with Grizz. Yeah, you are too naive. You looked at things on the outside. You seen Arsenal's pretty football. You looked at uh, the the, the Arteta way, and you said, you know what? They're gonna go better far further than 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 Real Madrid. But the problem <laughs> is, you have got to look at the inside He's in cooking. football. You have got to look at like a grit. You have got to look at the mentality. You got to look at the heritage. That's what it's all about. And that's what takes you far in the Champions League. You looked at the pretty outside, the, the elegant football, the, the inverted fullbacks, that, you know, everything looks to look pretty. But what happens in the Champions League, you need courage, you need, and, 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 and you need that heritage moment. And that's what Real Madrid give you. And you always overlook it at the start of the season. When, when it's crunch time, they turn up. That's what they do. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, in fairness, it, it doesn't take heritage to do what they did last night. Arsenal did it three weeks ago. Successfully. Oh, they're still, dis yeah. still disrespecting. Go. They're still disrespecting. Okay, no problem. Oh, this I'm leave me. Leave me. Just okay, let no let me talk on this one because after I came back from the burnabout, I was in the burnabout last week. There's no one on the show waxed lyrical about their heritage more than me. I came back and I said, on the show, what an institution. You feel the aura. You feel absolutely everything about the place. 14 100%. captains leagues. Yeah. It's an institution that deserves its respect for its footballing success. But is the way they played last night, does that deserve mega admiration? No, no, I'm no, not saying you about can, last you can night. Get I'm it. talking about the You can get here. it. You can I'm accept you guys, it. You guys, you guys think this is the league. You think that any you, admiring the football, this is knockout football. You, we, don't, yeah. we don't come to knockout football to play however you deem fit in your world that you live in. Oh, you have to play this way. You have to have the ball. Rodri's comments after the game, clown. Clown comments. Bro, that's a clownish this is, comment. This is, can you admit, this can you admit that, Huey? Football. That was a clownish knockout, comment, that. Can you admit me. that? Knockout football is about winning. Winning. It's yeah. not about anything else. It's not about how you play. It's about when you play. And they will be playing in the, in the semifinals and you will not be. Simple but as. This, they were this is why I said, this is why I said, I don't won. particularly admire it, but I get it. I get it. It's fine. You I get to. it. Like you have to. It was, it was efficient. It. it was effective. But I don't particularly like. It's not something I enjoy. It's not the football the, the, that I want to see. But if it works for you, fire away. I can't. I can't argue with that. But the the fact of the matter is, we didn't do enough. The omen was on us to go and take the game to them. I don't care about stats. I don't care about possession. I don't care about domination. It's about what you do with that possession and domination. And we didn't. If we had a bit more flair, a bit more. I don't know, creativity or willingness to take risks and not be so robotic. We could have hit them for three and four. We mm -hmm. could have hit them for three like and four. Like you did last year with, well, like what the like brothers saying, with Mahrez year, and Gundogan. To be fair That's to Carlo Ancelotti and to Real Madrid, they clearly said, listen, we're not going to allow what happened last year to happen again. We're going to take it right back to our box and say, if you want to get those goals, you better break us the hell down. And they were resilient. I can't argue with that. And I'm, I'm not, my complaints aren't with us being knocked out lying with Real Madrid. It's with Manchester City. That's that's my issue. It's with some personnel selections and the way we approach the game. But it is what it is. You can't win it every single season. And am I, am I sitting here saying, oh, I'm fuming we're out of the Champions League? No, absolutely not. I say something, though, Huey. Your, your, the, the substitutions, man, didn't have no impact, man. Like, Doku came on. I bro, don't know why he was Jack dead. Grealish. Bro. Jack Grealish was our best outlet in terms of creating yeah. something on that left wing. He was the, the most likely to make something happen, in my opinion, Um, at this uh, up to the point where he was taken off. Doku did all right when he came on. I think Stones should have started the game. Uh, Foden had to be in midfield for me. And look, I don't know, man. It, it, it is. By the way, what do you think of um, the comments about Pep saying about De Bruyne and um, Haaland wanted to come off early? Does that, does that worry you a little bit? That when they grind or when the you know what I mean when it the tough gets going and whatnot, like he they didn't want it. They were injured, I think. You saying they were injured, man. Was it injury? They were. They but they both been carrying knocks for time. Mm. I, I, well, look, I I, I think uh, yeah, I, it's a strange one, man. I, I'm just saying, Steven mm -hmm. Gerrard, you would have had to take him out in a in an airlift. When it's in that situation, man, you ain't taking Steven oh, Gerrard. Off that speak pitch, on man. it. I'm just saying. Speak on it. I'm just saying. You ain't. You. No one's taking off Steven Gerrard in that situation with five minutes to go. To I, I don't. I don't think you can question Kevin De Bruyne's. Um. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't think you can question that. Kevin De Bruyne won us a treble playing with painkilling injections. I, I, well, well, I won't. you know what I mean? They didn't last, in it. You should take some more. Steven Gerrard ever won a treble. <laughs> Steven Gerrard ever won a Premier I mean, League. They wore off, obviously, innit? Why not? You can afford a few more. You John took John them last playing. season. Take some more this season, innit? Why you, don't, you can't afford painkilling injections? <laughs> but I'm just saying, the word on the street is like... Maybe if Gerrard took painkilling injections, he might have won a Premier League medal. The, the, the word oh, on the street is... Yeah, the word on the street is if Man City... Oh, yeah, I like this. The word on the street is if Man City can't handle five penalties, how are they going to handle 115? But time will tell. Time will tell. <laughs> the word, time the word is tell. the club couldn't handle Pep Guardiola, so he's tired. Time will tell. Time will tell. He's tired. Club's tired, man. This is what we wanted. We wanted the rivalry. And why is it up at the end? Why y'all waiting until the end of Klopp's era to have a real title race? What the real animosity to each other? Before you start, guys, coming out saying he's tired. Just give him one of these, man. Give him one of these and say continue, mate. Suck it bruv, your play, bruv, looks like you're crazy than the last time. No, how can you have the most expensive <laughs> signing in your ever team? And Huey called him the most exciting <laughs> signing. And your star boy saying, yeah, take me off, man. I'm done out here. Because that's what he said he's done. Was he injured, though? If he was genuinely injured, why why be disingenuous then? Why be They're not injured. They're going to play on the weekend. Oh, Who Chris, thinks they're not going to play in the weekend? you were crying about injuries, we all had to get the violins out and go, poor Liverpool, 18 injuries. This ain't about Liverpool. Pop. In his last season, he has loads of players injured. And now we have injuries. He goes, Gerard wouldn't do that. Fuck Facts. Gerard, I'm man. Lie. He's spin, here, man. You can fuck Gerard if you want, but he wouldn't. Diogo Jota's injured. Facts. Let's all get the violins out for Liverpool. Facts. I don't give a Facts. fuck. Facts. There's no facts, yeah. Facts. There's no that facts, yeah. It's just that opinions. Is that is facts. There's all opinions. What, <laughs> let me see what super chats I'm coming because I'm weary of time and conversation still to come. Um, Marco <laughs> says, Can someone explain why Real Madrid won zero Champions Leagues from 2002 to 13? Because in Saeed's words, they won it every year. Who said, that, I, who said they won it every year? I didn't say they won it every year. Brother, they I just said they got the, the heritage. Most... They've won the most Champions Come League. Come on, man. What are we far, doing bro? here? What are we doing here, bro? <laughs> what are we doing here, man? They're the, best, <laughs> they're the greatest club side ever. Bro, please, man. Let's not do this. Let's not do this, man. <laughs> um, Don Perez says, John, job done. Sorry, regardless. It was ugly, but this is Real Madrid. We were in hell for 120 minutes and came out alive. <laughs> Matisse, thank you for Rudiger. He's a beast. Oh, he's a bad man. Yep. I miss How him every day. We for? fucked up. How we fucked you up. Sell him for? We didn't get anything for him. We let him go for free because we didn't give him a new contract. So we didn't give it in, to him in time before the sanctions. That's that's out of, every, out of all the players we've let go in the last couple of years. I Mason love Mal, him. You know that. Isn't he's he's I the one. Him. If you could take like a player and put him in our team now, like you're talking about leadership, you're talking about quality, mentality, communication, everything. mentality. This is the player that we fucked up the most by far. No, you don't need him. You got Britney Show. I'm happy for him though. Sorry, Van der, Ven, Van der Ven was slipping last week and Romero's rash. Van der Ven, Van der Ven looks, Van der Ven looks comfortably better than... Yeah, you need to relax. Van der Ven now, looks man. comfortably yeah, better than any setback back you got yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. You did this so, with... You, did you, this like, you, 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 yeah, what's funny you is you, you want to try and dunk. You know what's funny with you? You want to try and dunk. You You want to try... No, okay, no, okay, okay. Not. Listen, you got a history listen, of, listen, of, listen. Of, of gassing up your players, footballing genius and shit, and then when they don't amount to nothing, you just go hiding, Doherty and and Basuma. I don't hide. Footballing genius. I'm, and I'm here every manager. week. You better well, just chill. You better just. All chill I said right is now. this. Yeah. All I said is this. All I said is this. You don't need Rudiger because you've got Booty Yashul, right? You brought up Van der Ven. I didn't bring up Van der Ven. Yeah, you listen. brought Van der Ven. And the funny thing is, you would love for Van der Ven to be in your team right now because your centre-backs outside of Fafana are cooked. Let's be real. No, our system is cooked and we concede a lot of chances because we're too... No, 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 no. I'm not going to... Oh. No, 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 listen to me. Oh, I'm not going to... Okay, let me, let me no, no, rephrase. No, no. Let me rephrase. Gonna, outside gonna, of, outside of Fafana and Colwell. Outside of Fafana and Colwell. Listen to me. When... When when um, Van der Ven and Romero dropped their stinkers, you were like, oh, it's the system. Oh, we attack too much. We push too many people forward. <laughs> Pochettino is playing rock and roll football. I'm not going to judge these centre-backs until we tighten up. Because one thing's funny about Rudiger is when we were playing with him before Tuchel came in, he was just as yeah, narrow as Badi Shield, just as rash. Point. So I'm going to just sit and wait and, and, and let time do his thing. I don't know how these guys are going to pan out, but I'm not going to call them scrubs just based upon our... our I don't call our them scrubs. You call them Sesame scrubs. System. Yeah, listen, you, you, you take, off, care, what is you, you take off, care of your defence and chill, I'll take man. care of mine because you just conceded a whole heap of goals at the weekend. So I know what you're saying. Yeah, anyway. we conceded goals and I, and I criticised Van der Ven, but that is very much... That's that's literally the that's the first bad game Van der Ven has had for Tottenham. We're at game week 32. Right, 
Mm. Your mid, your mid off centre backs, booty your shoe, and that sounds like some extremism. That sounds like a lie, but I'm gonna. Yeah. How's like it a lie? lie? Name me the other bad game you've seen them have this season. Listen, I don't watch Tottenham, but it sounds like a lie. Okay, then that's what I'm really. It sounds like that's a lie. Sounds like something you would lie about. Like how, how do we go from Man City, Real Madrid to Badia Chile? And Bro, I don't even know what lie. I don't even know. You know, I swear. I don't Jeremy Kyle, where's Jeremy Kyle when you need him? This the thing is, I love you. I don't even bring bad. I don't even bring beauty at all. Shit, but I just wanted to get a dig in. I just wanted to get a dig in. This is why I watch this show. I watch this show because of this. <laughs> oh, mm. We can go left at any I stage. watch the no, show, mid, you know. I watch it. <laughs> I put myself on mute and I watch it back. Any stage. Yeah. Oh, Somehow mate. Toby's always involved, man. Always. But someone <laughs> someone it. someone someone put in a good super chat, Turkish. I don't know if you can see it's on the Man City game. And someone said you can't we can't stop without talking about the fo- uh, the Bernardo Silva penalty. Oh, oh yeah. My God. Ooh, yeah. Oh, what yeah, the yeah. hell was that? Wow. <laughs> Bro. I mean, what what was your feeling when you saw that? You... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it was, man? It was Bro. it's like it's like, you know what? If if the keeper does what 99% of keepers do in that situation and he moves either way, it floats in elegantly and we're all going, Wow, well done. If he doesn't, you look like a dickhead. Now Bernardo looks like a dickhead. I mean, Benzema did it to us, and Eddie had two seasons ago, and it looked class. Looked yeah. like Bernardo tried to repay the favor, and <laughs> he didn't repay the favor. <laughs> but he didn't. But I don't think he meant that, you know. In terms of, I don't think it was the what do you call it, the Paneka, yeah. Paneka. Paneka. I don't think it was if that. It, if it, no, but he didn't do that. But I, if he had done that, it would have looked at least a little bit more. A little bit. You know, you get it. He yeah, tried to. Are. He tried to curl it into the corner. It looked, if you look back, and he hit it straight, and he curled it straight into the middle of the goal. Nah, it's not it wasn't a, Penenka, a little chip. It's not a Penenka, but it's... Probably, it's, it's not saying if he's trying to do it, and at least like, do it. Down the middle yeah. kind of thing, okay? so it was too much pace. It was too much pace to be uh, that. Yeah, he didn't think it. What, what people were saying happened. He was doing too much, man. He was doing too much. I say apparently just drill it low and hard all the time. That's why with Kovacic's one, I'm, I can't complain about Kovacic's one because at least he put his, his laces through it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. He put his laces through it. Bernardo one... You just look. You Bro, just stood I there. Jinx your hands game. The I jinxed that. I jinxed that game differently. I even like in the first half. I was talking about how shit that keeper is. I was like, this keeper, and that's well, what I've done. Yeah, Lulin. yeah, Lulin. Lulin. and he Bro, and he smashed quality. it. He smashed. He's it. good. He's good. Yeah, he's done. He's done a great job. But Lulin. they were Lulin. saying Lulin. that he did. Bernardo took the same penalty against Chelsea in the final. Against um, Kepa, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Kepa, Kepa then passed a message over and said, "Listen, he's going to go down the middle." And then I, I don't, I don't really know, I don't know. why, um, know. why, why Bernardo know. and Kovacic were taking penalties. Maybe, maybe Bernardo, but like I'm it's looking Kevin at Rodri, I'm looking at pitch, Captain Kyle Walker. Why, why weren't you taking penalties? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why weren't you taking <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne? The two best penalty takers. You, you're two no, do you know who would have scored? Do you know who would have scored? Cole Palmer would have scored. Oh shit! Still fucking going on about that? Yep, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you have you have Kevin De Bruyne, someone that could have been my legend. I'm definitely gonna fucking talk about Cole Palmer every single oh, week. Yes, this guy have a <laughs> the next ten years you do this show. I'm gonna talk about Cole Palmer. <laughs> uh, let's let's Bro. finish up the city super chats and move on. Um, fairs, no fairs. You know what? After we get knocked out in penalties, fairs, fairs, fairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, point. Ahil says, even though we lost, I want to big up Doku. Gets a lot of hate, but has actually been more than decent this season. Once the end product improves, he's going to be a problem. But Carver how Valverde on no, skate. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. He really didn't. He really didn't yeah. put Carver how on Valverde on skates, my brother. He, he, uh, you know what it is? He has to, he has to, he, it looks good. And then it ends up being shit. Do you get it? Like it's kind of like he's got no, the right. He needs pro. to adjust to I the way Pep next season, plays his wingers. Next season will be yeah. big. Yeah. That season's yeah. going to be big. Daku, for him. I think Daku has the ability. It's his decision 100%. making. It's his decision 100%. making. Like yeah. there's a thing with Daku that everyone doubles up on him because of his pace naturally. And when someone doubles up on him, he always says, "I'm going through them." You know what I mean? You bro, <laughs> you're not going to go through two people every single time. The, the quick feet ain't always going to get you through two man. So you know what I mean? But he's 21. You know, he's a lot of learning. The reality yeah, yeah, is. Yeah. The reality is pressure from Mares fell down to the likes of Doku, and that's too much of a contrast. You know what I mean? You're losing a 30 GNA uh, a season winger. You're losing Gundogan, who's a, a 20 GNA a leader. You know, in those situations, and then we're, now we're relying on Kovacic, Nunes and Doku. And Doku. Yeah, Nunes, Doku, Kovacic. The recruitment last summer probably wasn't sufficient for this season. I thought you said it was. Times change. <laughs> And they, they still might win. They still might go, go win the league anyway. If we win four in a row, Kovacic, Daku, these man recruitment was great. Fantastic. <laughs> Embarrassing. 
embarrassing, but I, I should, this I type should, of analysis I never should like. Be used to <laughs> <this now. laughs> Let's be real, <laughs> says we're the only club in the history of the sport oh, that can survive up. that onslaught at the Etihad. Matisse, Saeed keep reminding the mandem it's the heritage. And John says Grizz went from banter in Madrid to potentially having to see Hey Jude win the Ballon d'Or. No, no, no. You know what? I'm gonna defend Grizz there, man. The, the, the Ballon d'Or shouts. Anyone right now? Who's who's really gonna win this Ballon d'Or? Like Haaland? We're talking about Jude Bellingham. I think they should cancel it this year, like they did with Lewandowski. So yeah, no one worth it. it. No one worth it. No, no, no. If, <laughs> if, the, if I, I want it to go to if 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 Harry Kane wins the Champions League, it should go to oh, Harry shut Kane. Up. Shut up. What do you mean, shut up? Harry Kane has scored 39 goals in 40 games. If his Toby. team wins the Champions League, I, I need that Ballon d'Or Kane campaign. If so he wins the Champions League and the Euros, and the Euros, yeah, yes, exactly. And Mbappe as well. If Mbappe wins the Champions League, why are people say Messi? You know what? Messi for me, he's, I don't know, man. Into Miami, is he doing well over there? Let's man? just give it to Messi. Yeah, man, of course he's doing Messi, well. Of course he's doing well. Of course he's doing well. Mm. Of course he's doing well. Uh, yeah. I, sure I watch him every well? week. Yeah, I watch yeah, him every week. Bro, he scored a banger like last week, top corner, 25 yeah, yards. Man. Light work. Give it to Messi. Um, at least, at least it's Cole protected. Palmer. Cole Palmer, man. No oh, Cole Palmer shots. <laughs> No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Aju says, um, "Don't respect, don't disrespect City. Compared to Arsenal and Liverpool, City dominated everything in terms of stats. But in the end, we lost on penalties. If you want to see Real as a mid-table team, if you want to see Real, oh, watch highlights. Um, there to Golta says, Chelsea and United fans twerking from Munich and Madrid is very interesting. Almost like they see their old selves in them, talking about, quote, heritage, and they can escape the reality of competing <laughs> for seventh. This brother thinks he's well, a psychologist. <laughs> yeah, we just respect people. Yeah, respect clubs. We Honestly, respect don't. big no. clubs. Yeah, big clubs with big, big history. Clubs. That's what we respect, indeed. That's I don't it, know man. about you, Turkish, but it doesn't sit well with me when we're knocked out and, and it's the Chelsea United fans making the most noise. I, I don't know about no, you. No, no. Uh, you know, you can't finish Finnish men. Bro, like, I had to finish <laughs> Finnish men. <laughs> why are you adding Turkish? Like, yo, yeah. yo, 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 yo. Oh. Why are you adding Turkish to the conversation, bro? First, <laughs> first time. You know? In, in, in... Look, they're, look they're, they're, they're spudding each other. Do you know what's bro? so funny? You know, do you know what's so funny? Finish. Do you know what's so funny? Man City. Understand that they're about to do four in a row, and they did this with Liverpool. They like tried to put your, their arm around you because you're competing with them or you're being a bridesmaid to them, saying, Oh, look, you're just like us. Now they're doing it with Arsenal. Imagine saying City and Arsenal in the same sentence, like you even achieved anything oh, listen, near them. I, I it's don't know embarrassing. What about. You did, you, the way you just massaged Austin. Turkish and Arsenal's ego, you know what's like embarrassing? Don't, 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 don't be lying. Don't be lying to them. You're, 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 engaged. Engaged. You're, you're engaged to a Tottenham fan, bro. You're engaged to Tobes, and you're talking about embarrassing <laughs> about fucking Arsenal City in Champions League. No. Like, that's take crazy. the, take the ring, off, take the ring off your finger and tell him Mother. no. Oh, 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 come to the next show solo. Because you two teaming up every nah, single week. Man. It's, it's, it's Wait, separate them, man. Put Saeed in the that's middle. Separate them. Separate them. Nah, man. Listen. I don't want to be no middle, man. I don't want to be no listen, triangles. Listen, listen you know, bro. This guy's been making this same dead joke. And I'm just, I'm just staring. I'm just doing my work. I'm just like... Check the live chat if you want to see if it's a dead joke. Check the live chat now if you want to see dead joke. Nothing is bottom left, all right? Nothing is They seem to like it. Oh, my God. They seem to like it. Yeah, because they're weak like you. I've got I Matisse. I'll just warn you. I've got to go in about 10 minutes because i got forever at one. But you can wrap up the show and do what you need to do in terms of the other... Um, bits and bobs, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, we're going, we're going quickly. We're going quickly. I remove that ring time. before you fucking do it, but I'm tired. Oh my of god! Now. I might just remove this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, might just, I might just kick Turkish out of his own damn show. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, it's all mad. Right, let, you know what? Before I go, let's let's do the let's do the Liverpool Fulham predictions or Fulham Liverpool predictions, just so I can get get mine in there um i know it kind of sways the show into another direction but might as well get them in now tobes full of liverpool two mm. <laughs> i'm gonna go do you, do you want to confer with matisse behind the scenes Shut up, bro. This guy. Why do i need to confirm with matisse <laughs> 
dead joke, dead joke, dead joke, dead joke, dead joke, dead joke. It's terrible. It's a terrible joke. I, I, I can't believe it's actually getting lost. Um, I'm, 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 but, I might put everybody back. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go two one Liverpool. You know your reaction adds to the comedy of it. It does. It's fucking beautiful. <laughs> I'm going free, free one Liverpool. I might have to for, forever, forever Arsenal's cancelled. <laughs> Say, I'm gonna go two one Fulham. Mm. That's about to be the one. Hugh. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm predicting before Matisse these days. Okay, um, two one Liverpool. Two one Liverpool, Matisse. Oh, um, oh, this is tough, man. I can't trust Liverpool right now. They're gonna concede. Oh, I'm gonna go to three two Liverpool. Three two, and Grizz one one. Oh my god! Oh he's my gone. god! Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Yeah, he's, he's gone. gone, yeah, he's gone. gone he's man. Gone. He's gone. He's, he's finished. Gone. Yeah, he's yeah. mad. When when he's when he's saying that with the war hat on, it's over. Finished. <laughs> finished. Is that a new hat? <laughs> he's changed the hat. Is that, that a war hat? hat? Yeah, that's mad. <laughs> Is this some sort of... Oh, you're doing reverse psychology. You're trying there's to surrender no, hat. There's no war hat with pom-poms on it. <laughs> Did you say pom There's no <laughs> what? Did you say pum pum? I was like, hey, yo, that's man. Pum hey, pum. Yo. I don't think that's pum hey, pum, bro. Come on, man. Come on, Grizz, man. Even I know what that means. Even I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> End it, bro. <laughs> we, we cannot. Yeah, we cannot. <laughs> we cannot. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that killed me, man. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> How do we say boom boom? We cannot, we cannot. Bro. And he, he touched it, he was just like... Yo, but he's dead up, man. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. We've got to end the show. Yeah. Nah, bro, not not, not in the show. Crazy. Oh, yeah, man. We've got, we've got to come to a conclusion. Ah, uh, Matisse. Pom -poms. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you and say love for the love to everyone in the community. Hit the like button, show some love to the sponsor, opt up um games, oh. play up to max, play up to five. There's a link there, sign up, play along with us. Competition 200 pounds If you don't know, just play along with us, screenshot the results, get it in. Um, and subscribe to the individual channels. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the show. Like I said, I've got to go do forever, but there isn't much else to talk about apart from Liverpool out and Man City Chelsea in the FA Cup, actually. <sighs> Uh, I'll leave you up to it. Peace, people. Love. Oh, love. love. Uh, big up, man. Yeah. I, Come on, let's just do, deal uh, with the Liverpool section, man. Is it yeah. Liverpool? Yeah, I think it was Liverpool. You just yeah, man. It. Liverpool play like pom-poms, but I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Liverpool play like pom-poms. But, uh, yeah, oh. dead game. Like Saeed says, we need to do it for Klopp. What a way to go for Klopp, man, in his last European... Last European outing... Mm. Um, just not a Liverpool or clock performance, man. We look tired, you know. We spoke about Rodri and Kevin De Bruyne looking tired. Salah, McAllister, all of these mans are looking tired. Um, even Virgil, I'm going to say it. Even Virgil, last three games, has not looked great. They just look tired, running out of steam at the worst time. The only shining light was Trent Alexander-Arnold, who was magnificent. Mm. He was magnificent. Was he? His comeback. He was yeah, spamming yeah. the ball. But, uh, okay. I couldn't so, figure out what position he was playing. No, to, be honest, just, to be honest, just coming back from injury, I thought he was very good. I thought he was very, very good. Bro, he, he said that his passing was elite, man. But look, fuck it. I can't talk about Trent and not cuss the others. or And it's... I don't know. I don't know what's happened. We just ran out of steam. I know we spoke about Arsenal running out of steam and 
certain couple of players in the Man City team looking tired. Liverpool, yeah, same thing. We looked tired. We looked like run out of steam, run out of ideas. That second half was crazy abysmal. Mm. Like we had no ideas. Big up Atlanta. They outpowered us, outfought us, outpressed us, man to man, everyone on the pitch. And normally we used to we used to eat up teams like this, man, when they go man to man against us. Yep. Leeds used to go man to man against us. Atlanta done the same thing when we had the prime front three, whatnot. And we beat them five nil. But we didn't have answers to any of their set up questions. Mm. Their questions. We yeah. didn't have the answers. Sad way to go for Klopp. He looked really tired. I know you man's are taking a piss like, yeah, man, man's tired. He's See him looking... sitting on the thingy, on yeah, the bench and that. Tired. Yeah, yeah, he looks tired. He looks very tired. Um, and I'm seriously, that's what I said, guys. I don't think we beat Fulham. I, I generally don't think really? we beat Fulham on a weekend. Yeah, we're very tired. Uh, we, ha we haven't scored a goal in open play for four games. Wow, that's really bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, it's I didn't know that. Pieces and, it's it's pieces right, man, and... I really... Really, not three um, games, no, it's not three. three really broke you, man. Whatever, I don't know. That's really bad. For Diallo. Mad. So, you, you're taking credit for that, Saeed, yeah? You did that. I mean, Ama <laughs> Diallo broke them, man. It's mad. It's but you know sad, what? So, it's a sad state of appears. You know, but, he looked decent today, Grizz. Gakpo, he looked all right today, you know. Gakpo and Trent, I was gonna, yeah, Gakpo did. Gakpo and Trent looked, but why, you know, why Tobes? They, they're the ones that have not been playing. They look the freshest. They look the most to... energy. But Sabozlai has got to do better because there's no reason for this brother to be tired, I'm afraid. Curtis Jones, in... Sabozlai were disgusting today. Like, disgusting. And so was McAllister. I've been yeah, picking yeah. up McAllister, but it looks yeah, like wasn't McAllister's good. been playing too much and mm. he looks really tired. The midfield had no energy, man. They really pressed us. I'm I'm not going to cast them. I cast their finish against Palace, but yeah. we played brilliantly in the second half without finishing. Which yeah, yeah. obviously I was frustrated at the time, and I said, "Oh!" But looking back, we played football in that second half. Today, we didn't play football. We didn't look like so lethargic. We didn't even create a chance. Mohamed Salah had that one chance. He shinned it. Yeah, and that was it. We had nothing else. We had two shots on target. It's really bad, bro. Two I was watching shots. the game. Liverpool, it's like, you know, you never look like scoring. Like, no, I never you got the like first, bro. The thing is, you got the first goal in five minutes, the penalty, and I'm thinking, raw, you got 85 minutes plus injury time to make the comeback. I'm thinking that it's actually set in stone. Mm. The old Liverpool make that comeback before, before you can even think. Basically, the game's done. Three 0 down. They've scored in the first five minutes. May as well just may as well just hang it up. Liverpool 100 percent coming back. It doesn't. It, honestly, that's that's how I felt. Do you know what it is? When I, I realized agree with you. This is a this is, Liverpool team. Uh, uh, exactly. Yeah. This is yeah. why when I say it and you look cuss me down, <laughs> but agreed with me at the start of the season, this is not the finished article with Liverpool. What the intriguing part though is is what does the new manager do? Because yes, this was Klopp's rebuild. Yeah. So, but but the new guy is going to have to do his own assessment of the squad so i'm a bit excited i'm a bit nervous i'm a bit worried i'm a bit tense i don't know how the new season is going to go with the new manager and the tactics because i hate to say it but sometimes you get to a point where you know what i mean tactics and the same words and the same motivational speech mm. do get a bit and we've Bad. done we've done great this season man to be where we are, I've told you. I think Trent's time. nervous as well about it, Chris. Did you see his overlap? Um, where, where he's talking about coming to a new preseason and with a different voice, so. different mess. No, of course, got, yeah, I agree. I you agree. got to remember, Trent hasn't had a club manager apart from Klopp. Do you know? No, that? Yeah, I know, I know. I love Madrid. I love Madrid. He has watched his interview, by the way. Did you watch his interview, yeah, by the way? Yeah. On there? yeah, yeah, it was quite good, you know. Nice, like, proper, well, he's intelligent so, footballer, man. So, yeah, man, it's going to be madness. Um, six games to go. I still think if we win six games. We win the league, but I don't think we win six games before anyone says, ah, oh. so that's the problem. I don't think Arsenal win their six games. And I think Man City only drop points in one game. So it is what it is. I think we drop points in two games minimum. So I think yeah, people are running out of fumes at the minute, man. I think fumes, pure I fumes, think man. I think you put so much effort because of the, maybe, because maybe the lack of the lack of quality that you're used to having yep. is not quite there already right now. They put so much effort and energy into sustaining this sort of title race to get to this point that they're gas. Hey, you spoke, like you that, spoke, you hey, spoke about like that. you spoke about Nunes and um, Doku replacing Mares and Gundogan, two absolute. You know, what I mean. Premier League mm -hmm. champions, and mm -hmm. we're talking about 
Gakpo and Nunes replacing mm. Bobby and Mane. Yeah, levels, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. There's levels. Are you, it's the only thing I'll say is that like there's a lot of pressure on the likes of Sabozla and Nunes, even under this new manager, and they're such chaotic footballers that I don't know. Like it's almost like you almost have to get a manager in that in that mold. Otherwise, you basically just said 140 million is is gone and these people need to be sold. I don't feel like these players can adapt to a more uh, controlling Nunes you know, can't. No, like they, they are who they are and Agreed. you must play their football or they must be sold. Or because sold. they're not Jones and Elliot, these guys will adapt 100 percent Trent, you know, these guys will adapt. There's many these players are multifaceted. These two that I've just named, no chance. No chance. And I'll add Diaz to that as well. Diaz, okay. Nunes and Gakpo have to learn how to relax the ball if that's how the new manager wants to play. Yes. Or if he's going to be a a newer, edited version of a Klopp. Because if it's going to be Amrim like I think it's going to be, then he does like playing slightly more direct as opposed to Alonso or a Pep or a, who else? I don't know. You know what I mean. Alonso, Pep, who else plays that football these days? Arteta even maybe, right? Whereas Amrim's more, a little bit direct. And these players are direct footballers. Like, like we were talking about Haaland earlier on. Nunes is the same. If you're going to try to get Nunes playing intricate football from the back, nah. But if you're looking at Nunes with, on the end of Trent's uh, passes, then yeah, there's a different dynamic. So yeah, man, I don't know how we're going to... Obviously, new manager, new style, new adaptation. Is he going to bring his... Sporting Lisbon style of play to Liverpool, or is he going to look to adapt? I'm excited and nervous at the same time because I genuinely thought this was Liverpool's rebuild, and that's why I was excited for a phase one Liverpool rebuild. Is going very well. Like next season, this season I predicted Man City to win the league, Liverpool second. Last season, next season I was gonna, I was ready to say Liverpool first. Like I was in that mode. You now, are, yeah. If they beat Man United, yeah. Them. Yeah. Do you yeah. think do you think the real phase one of the Liverpool rebuild starts with the new manager? Because that's naturally where I it's think it's weird, it will start. isn't it? Yeah, it's a weird one. You're right. Because then what, what what was everything Klopp did last Ex summer? Didn't it? Exactly, exactly. So that's why I don't know. It depends how much action we do in the window, how much transfers in and out. The Mohamed Salah situation. Does he stay? Does he go? Do we take the money? Oh, he's I've, gassed, I've, I've man. Been, he's, he's on fumes right now. I've Salah. been vocal. Yeah, I've gone. been very vocal, and a lot of Liverpool fans disagree with me which is all part and parcel of opinion i don't speak for everyone but i'd i, I said I, I would take the money i'd even i've even gone on record and said i'd take the money for luis diaz me personally but it is, mm. what it is. Let's, see, let's see what let's see what people say and do how much how much would you take like 75 million for 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 who diaz diaz oh yeah i'll snap your arm off for the 75. wow i don't think we get 75 for him but like 60 65 million we like, like the brother it, from, we, seasons, like, we, like, we like we like the brother from Leeds, Somerville. We really like him. Uh, Edwards is a big fan of him, so really? I'd I'd love to I'd love to, I I think he's good as well. Mm. He is a good player. Didn't yeah. think he'd make a jump that big though. <laughs> That's a yeah, massive no. jump. And you're talking about coming in as being a starter? Because if you're getting rid of Diaz, then Diaz yeah. is a starter. Yeah. There's decisions so. to be made. There's players to be obviously yeah. we definitely need another centre back who's more reliable than Konate. Um, you know, injury I know you wise. like the um tossing guy at Fulham, isn't it? Yep, yep. Tossing, yeah, yeah, he's, he's available on a free. On a free. Yeah, I like yeah. him as well. I like him. I like him. Too. Too. I'm having, oh, I'll take him. That's mm, why, that's yeah. why the Wilcox thing is going to be good for us because Wilcox is coming towards and obviously he was there when Man City were coming out. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, that's a but good one. That's, really. that's yeah. it, really. Let's see how it goes, man. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a strange time suddenly. Um, like we will be there. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you will. That's the problem. Uh, mad month, man, and suddenly it's looking peak. But six games to go. Let's see how it goes, man. We can still, we can still win it. We can still finish second, which is very respectable. Or we can finish third, and I'll get pelters for finish behind Arsenal. <laughs> mm, so it's yeah. what it is. We done the Fulham Liverpool predictions, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. All right. Let's. You talk about FA Cups. FA Cups. Yeah. Let's go to FA Cup, man. Um, it's Chelsea versus City on Saturday. Um, I'm not going to lie, Hugh. Your exit has not helped my my. I, I feel like you guys are going to be, you know, 
revenge not revenge but you're you know you'll be you'll be angry you'll be playing on anger i don't know Matisse, they're gonna play I, half their team Trust I, I, me. I, feel, I feel i feel the opposite to you matisse i oh, think we played okay. 120 minutes against real madrid penalty shoot. we are like the players were bollocks as it was and then 48 hours later whatever it is 72 hours we're told to go out to wembley and play a cup semi-final i think you've got us at a good time i think you have yeah. us at a very good time this but look chance. from our perspective we, we can't allow that you know what i mean if you want to fight for the trophies man you can't allow that to derail you so they just have to dig deep and find it i think we can all agree our three teams in, in the title race liverpool arsenal city we're all to some extent running on fumes right now we all look more tired than we than we should do but we have to dig deep but from a chelsea perspective man i think you've got us at a good time a good time do you think do you think you're going to play i think you're going to play a changed lineup huey i think you're going to totally focus on a Yes, what could be a tricky. What could be a tricky trip to Brighton in midweek, right? Yeah, is it midweek? Yeah, midweek. yeah, yeah Brighton, Thursday. Brighton away Thursday. on Thursday. Brighton away on Thursday. So oh, I, I could Thursday. see it. I, I wouldn't be against it. I wouldn't be against a bit of rotation. But what does rotation mean? Do you know what I mean? Like we, we don't. We don't. I know people like to bang oh, on. It's still a good week. rotation, though. Doku, you've Rico got Doku, Lewis, Kovacic, yeah, Rico Alvarez. Lewis, Oscar yeah. Bob, Julian Alvarez. It's not a bad John Stones. You know what I mean? Rotation. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. Stones. This is our everything oh, because yeah, we we this is oh, it. You for must. Me. We must. Well, well, that's the issue. It's your everything. It's it's not our everything, and we're tired. Mm. So you know what I mean. That is Wembley. It's a big I... pitch. I don't know if we're going to make it a big pitch. Um, and actually play to play to the the weaknesses maybe of Raheem City. Uh, one one thing. Well, the thing is with Sterling is that he's had two good performances against City where he's dunked on Walker. But really, after watching mm. the Everton game where we won 6-0 and Sterling wasn't in the team, you'd want to see the same front line of Mudrick, Palmer, Madaweke and Jackson. Um, they've all got pace. They're all they're all pretty direct. My thing is, is the one thing I don't want to hear from Poch after the game, which is what we heard against Liverpool, is the players are tired. We've had a whole week. Well, we've had Monday. Obviously, they, they've they played Wednesday. They've got two, two days less and they've had 120 minutes plus penalties. If I hear that we're tired in extra time, if it goes to extra time, which it could go to extra time. Mm. We're both, we've both drawn this season in both the games. If it goes mm. to extra time, I don't want to hear no excuse about tiredness. This team, at a bare minimum, should be putting in the 100 miles per hour because if we do manage to get past City we're in the final and then we have to fancy our chances against whoever it is and, and we have an opportunity to secure mm. Europa League football which is the absolute bare minimum um, even right now considering our baddest being in the league so yeah we need to we need to take the confidence from Everton um, but obviously still wary of of, of mm. City's threats and, and what they can do um, we don't need to do predictions because obviously it's not in the predictions league. But what's no. um anybody else's thoughts on that game? Like before we move on to commentary think, United. Yeah, no, I just think for me, like Chelsea must. Um and I wouldn't like I wouldn't ban a city if they, they lost this game. I'm not gonna lie to you, because of the, the fact that intensity of midweek. No, I'd ban but them. Yeah, ban man, them. Cole we'd Palmer. Ban them. No, no, we'd ban <laughs> them. You think no, listen, how, how, I, how, how would the Saeed like, guy saying he wouldn't he'd be on my Discord straight away? Mm. Straight the fucking well, way. Let me listen, man. Let me let me just you know what I mean. Let me just waffle for the podcast and then later on just like <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, I think for me it's Chelsea must. Chelsea must. Chelsea must. That's all I'm gonna say. Chelsea, oh, you're Chelsea must. must. He's doing pace. narratives. He wants oh, he's you know on the he Chelsea wants. must bus. He wants the clown sparring in the final thing. He wants revenge for the four three. I want, a, I want a nice final, man. Me and Matisse Wembley preview. We will be there. Yeah, we'll yeah, there. yeah. He doesn't want to stop City from doing the double and doing that. Will he? he doesn't Bro, want that. I do want it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I do want it. He's but scared of his neighbors. You know what I mean, Make he's moving house. Yourself. He's Make scared it. of his neighbors. I, when when um when City scored, you were saying that the neighbors are celebrating. There's more City yeah, fans bro. around. Yeah, I tell you by the way, the City fans around here now. Bro, when they <laughs> scored, City, I heard a family, a whole family celebrating. I was like, bro, are you mad? Man, just left one City area for another. Nah, get out of here, man. But so then what, again, what, what are you saying, after, Said? In, indirectly, what are you saying? But then after, but then the family is growing. Nice what, the family. But then after, I went on the I went on a group chat, the family group chat, and it was quiet last night. It was very, very quiet. Oh. Like we tried to do a few banter and that, but they weren't responding. So you know what I mean? You win some, you lose. Probably some. the first time they've heard from you in months. They thought you gone quiet for about a year at this point, bro. Listen, that's what I'm saying. When you, I made a tweet yesterday, like when you can have the opportunity to don't con anyone, don't con, don't con them, man. Like why, why hold back? Don't hold back, people. When and you that's, have how, that's how you know up. authentically he's going to dunk on City if they go out. He's just told you that. No, right? I know. He's he's the first person I expect to hear from. Wherever you make person. it, wherever wherever you make of it. 
Whatever you mean. Oh, dear. Um, all right. Um, Saeed, you may as well talk to us about commentary, Man United, as well, um, while we're here, because yes. you've got a big game on Sunday. Yes. We've had a week off. We should be ready. You know what I mean? Coventry, funny enough, right? I haven't. Since they won against Wolves, they've been on a bad run. They've lost to Birmingham 3-0. They've had a few bad results, but it is FA Cups. Um, Mark Robbins, I don't know if you remember him, but he's the one that saved Fergus' job. You know, he's managing my United, so the history there is going to be big. And yeah, man, just win. Just win. I don't think I'm bothered about the performance as such because, you know what I mean, you don't, you don't remember performances. You just want to get through to the final. Avoid embarrassment. Avoid preferably extra time because then it just gets a bit messy. But please just win the game. That's all I'm asking you. Win the game, get to the final, and then let's dunk on Arsenal having a better season than them. It's crazy, but we move. <laughs> but yeah, get the win. Get the win. Oh, shit, man. Such a prick. Matisse, you can say the same, man. We spoke about it before, man. You can say the same as well. I love this guy, man. You know that? Oh, it's actually mad. It's mad. Oh, well, yeah, well, yeah, not Liverpool. Liverpool would have finished above us, so yeah. But yeah, go on. <laughs> he was looking for more shame and he couldn't find it. This is, this yeah, is I couldn't find doing. that one. <laughs> yeah, we took the last bit out of that. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh, before we wrap up, one of the proudest moments I've seen I've been as a City fan due to saying Mighty Madrid won against all odds, 34 shots versus 14 against uh, 14 time UCL champs. Um, this team is unbelievable. Can't wait to get to Wembley tomorrow. Mm. That's, You're getting that's a bit fair. early in it. It's Sunday. Saturday, yeah, well, really. maybe Sorry. maybe it's on a different day. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Um, all right, guys, listen, we're going to wrap up, man. It's been two hours, 15 minutes. Um, it's now one o'clock in the morning in the UK. We're not going to get through every single super chat, but you guys already know that's 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 kind of just impossible for us at this point. But I hope you did enjoy the show. There was a lot of cooking that had to be done. I think we did ourselves justice as the top three hyenas. We're going to get put into our places now next show. I'm sure yeah. Tottenham don't play this weekend. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, well, yeah, well done to the hyenas. Man, well done to the hyenas. Thank you had you, your, yeah. your they had their day, man. They had their day. They had you. your day. Every dog has its day, Grizz. Every dog has its day. <laughs> yeah. Even Every the little dog. Day. We'll be back next oh. week. We'll be back the week after. We'll be back the week after that for seven more weeks. Seven more yeah. weeks. We'll be more back. You can believe. More you can believe. Um, so yeah, guys, make sure you smash up the likes, make sure you subscribe to everyone's channels. Links are in the description. And we will see you on Monday for potentially you never know more twists, twists and turns in the title race. You never know. So yeah, until then, big up your damn selves. In a bit, people. Pum pum's out. Peace. <laughs> the pum pum is out. <laughs>